now you're looking at absolutely nothing right there so let me pull one of these over and you'll see there's the coral color I was referring to and it's nicely quilted so therefore the batting hasn't shifted at all the binding on this is a green now you're you may find just a touch of wear in fact I'm having to look for it up here now I see one little place where the seam has come undone right up at the top but it's not wear by any means this is in great condition so um, it's uh, it's quite nice from the 40s and 50s 249 is the price on this 8091 is the number on this hourglass and the dimensions 81 by 68 Here's a star quilt from the late 1800s, yellow and red and white. Now there is some color bleeding on this. Much of what you're seeing here, however, is just this red fabric peeking out from behind the white fabric. The fabric is thin, not worn thin, but the fabric started out being thin. So this is not color bleeding right here. You're just seeing the red out from under the white. But there are a few places where the color has bled, a few little bleach spots on this. And uh, the red is washed out just slightly. In fact, you can see the uh, most of the bleeding is on the back, as a matter of fact. So that's good news for you. The batting is shifted just slightly around the edges. But still, if you're going to fold this and put it on your uh, quilt rack, it's a great quilt, great price, 149 4371 is the number, and the dimensions on this 80 by 69. Now, if you'd love to have a double wedding ring and you really don't want to pay too much for it, this may be the perfect one for you, particularly if you like to sew and you want to do a little bit of mending. This is from the 1930s and 40s, and it's really pretty. The blocks are done in pink and white. She's quilted a spider web in between each of these rings. It's a nice double wedding ring. Some of the colors have just washed out a little bit, but there are several panels that have worn out or um, are beginning to wear out. So again, let me, let me give you an example of that. See this right here? That is worn through, and this is beginning to show some wear. So if you want to do some mending on this, actually you have to look for these panels that are out because the pieces are quite small, and they really don't just jump out at you. You have to look for them. Um, but this is still a nice double wedding ring. It just needs a, needs a little bit of mending, or you could display it just like it is, a little bit of wear on the binding as well. But nice, uh, nice colors, pink and white on the blocks. It is from the 30s and the 40s. And look at that price. See, you can pick up a double wedding ring for little or nothing at $140. $49. 4507 is the number and the dimensions 90 by 80, so it's a good size. I know a lot of you are looking for the queens and kings, so this is 90 by 80. The price is just 149 Isn't this pretty? It's the cutest little character quilt. There are, I think, 35, uh, let's see, yeah, I think 35 blocks on here, all embroidered. Some of them have nursery rhymes. Some of them have uh, little uh, characters, little, uh, here's a cat and a pig and an elephant, a turkey, a snowman. There's a Mary Mary Quite Contrary. Now, some of these are done in color, and some of them are just done in red. The bird you're looking at here is just done in red, but let me pull a couple of these other ones over so you can see. This is so cute. It almost looks like a little cupie baby or cupie doll sitting at a desk with a lamp. Let me show you this basket because it's colorful. Isn't that pretty? Some of these flower baskets are done in color. Some of them are done all in red. Here's a real happy little bear, it looks like. He's probably just found some honey. Here's a little boy with turned up uh, toes, turned up shoes. Here's a little Dutch boy, an elephant with a palm tree. All kinds of little characters on this. Just darling. This background, by the way, is a deep, deep ruby red, and it's all been done by hand. This is so cute, suitable, of course, for a boy or a girl. From the 1920s and 30s, 349 is the price. 2243 is the number, and the dimension 78 by 58. I have a Dresden plate now to show you from the 20s and the 30s. Lots of pastels on this from lavenders and pinks and mint green and yellow on pure white. Now, this is very, very heavily quilted. Wait till you see this. Now, the pieces of the plates themselves are not quilted. They're only pieced and put on here. So you're going to find some of the batting has shifted just slightly under these plates because they're not quilted. She's done a lot of needlework, however, securing these appliques. But I want to show you in between the plates Look at the extent of this quilting. It's just beautiful. It's 
all been done by hand. The fabric is in excellent condition because it's so heavily quilted. Just beautiful, tiny, tiny little stitches. But the plates themselves are not quilted, so you're going to find the batting is shifted or separated just slightly under those. But boy, is this in great condition. Lots of quilting, lots of work. $3.99 is the price. 5927 is the number and the dimensions on this, 74 by 56. Here's a Jacobs ladder from the early uh, 1900s, 20s, and 30s. Lots of green and red and um, burgundy. A little bit of blue on this. Now the colors have washed out overall. There aren't any uh, bleach spots to speak of, but the colors have just washed out. And this is not heavily quilted, so you're going to find that the batting has shifted just ever so slightly, or separated, if you will, under this. This is a kind of a light mint green, as you, and as you can see, that has just washed out. There's not a lot of quilting on this, but the fabric is uh, still in good repair. A couple of places where you might want to put a few little stitches in it, and there is wear showing at the top of this. As a matter of fact, um, um, quite a bit of wear only at the top. $99 is the price. It's a good price. 4825 is the number and the dimensions 80 by 61 on the Jacobs Ladder. This is such a pretty grandmother's flower garden. Lots of attention to detail on this. Many thousands of pieces. I don't know how many thousand, but trust me, there are several thousand. I like these uh, with the path. Can you imagine the length of time it must have taken to put in these tiny, tiny little diamond-shaped pieces all the way around each of these flowers? Look how small those are. I mean, those are like little finger size. They're, they're just very, very small. Those go around each flower in the green. Each piece has been quilted around. The colors of the flowers themselves range from purple, rust, blue, coral, um, cream color, pink, just beautiful. Now some of the green, these little diamond pieces, some of those have um, lost a little bit of their color. They've almost turned, a, they've just changed color in washing over the years and the different dye lots will do that. But you don't see it when you look at the quilt and it certainly doesn't take away from the beauty of this quilt. It's absolutely beautiful. Scalloped all the way around, the binding is green. Look at the extent of her quilting on the back. It has a nice clean back. This is a great grandmother's flower garden. We liked it here in the studio. From the 40s and 50s, by the way, it's all cotton, a uh, nice lightweight. $349 is the price on this grandmother's flower garden. 7352 is the number and the dimensions on this 82 by 67. Here's a very old double nine patch. This is from the late 1800s. Tiny little pieces. It's all been quilted by hand and she's done the fan quilting throughout on this quilt. It's so pretty, lots of red, blue, um, little bits of green here and there. Now many of these pieces have worn through, so this might be great for those of you who are into quilt restoration, and you have to look at them. Um, I'm going to be able to show you four of them right here. See those little patches are just They've just worn through, you're able to see the batting there. But they're so small that you really kind of have to look for them. But this would be a great one um, if you like to do the quilt restorations because the uh, binding is really in good shape. It's just some of those little postage stamp size pieces are worn through. And there are several of those throughout the quilt, by the way. Look at the price, just $1.99 for a double nine patch from the late 1800s. That's a good price. 2951 is the number and the dimensions on this, 75 by 64. Lots and lots of quilting. It's all been done by hand. Oh, this is a nice quilt. You see this pattern called Job's Troubles or Snowball, whichever you prefer. But this is so nicely done. As you can see, these are quite small. The blocks are very small. Lots of color, about any color you could imagine on this. And there's really no prominent color. There's some red, blue, uh, green, yellow. It's so pretty. She's quilted around each piece and it's all been done by hand. Here, let me pull this over and show you back. Show you the back. And you can see all of that quilting. Isn't that pretty? This is another one that's finished off so nicely on the back, you could really almost turn it over for a complete white quilt if you wish to do so. This is just beautiful. It's in great condition. The colors are still nice and bright. They haven't faded. There are no bleach spots. Just a great quilt. I like this. It's really pretty. 30s and 40s. There's not even anywhere on the binding of this. $2.99 is the price. 82 by 78 are the dimensions. Again, it's in excellent condition. And the uh, number is 7891. 
This is a pretty quilt if you like the pastels. This is all done in pink and white, and then the floral fabric is white with little tiny red and blue flowers and little tiny green leaves. Really pretty, and she's used the same fabric throughout. It's a white background. It's all been quilted by hand. The white is a true pink, by the way. It's not a funny pink, so you're not gonna have a hard time matching it if, you, if what you're wanting is a true pastel pink, because that's what this is. Really so pretty, and look at this delicate little floral fabric. Isn't that pretty? The binding is white. This is in great condition. Uh, lots of nice quilting, and again, she has done it all by hand. This is uh, shows no fabric wear at all. I see one small, no. As a matter of fact, you know what I just saw? I thought it was a discoloration. It's a cotton seed. As you know, in some of these quilts and the batting, sometimes they just didn't get all of the, uh, the seeds out of the cotton seeds, and that's what that is right there. I can feel it. This is from the 20s and the 30s. The pattern is the hourglass, pink and white, little touches of blue and green. Really pretty. $349 is your price. 6060 is the number, and the dimensions on this, 95 by 74. Here's a pretty double wedding ring. This is very classic. The um, uh, blocks that she's used to connect the rings are done in the solid colors, and it gives it a much different appearance than those we see with the uh, patterned fabric in the blocks. These are done in green and purple, white background, lots of floral fabrics and pastels on these pieces, very nicely pieced. But look at these beautiful reeds in between the rings. So pretty. Very heavily quilted. It's all been done by hand. And by the way, I hope you noticed um, around this wreath or flower, there are four hearts, which makes this a true double wedding ring when you have the hearts. And there are four hearts in each of these areas. So this is really pretty. What a pretty wedding gift this would make or anniversary gift. The binding is green. It's scalloped all the way around, and it's really in nice condition. You're going to find a little bit of wear on the binding. But again, keep in mind, as you know, if you've watched this before, these are not department store reproductions. They're one of a kind, and uh, it's from the 20s and 30s, so you're going to find a little bit of wear on it. But this is a nice double wedding ring with hearts all over it, so that makes it really, really special. $2.99 is the price. 7815 is the number, and the dimensions on this, 78 by 78. If you love yellow and green, you're really going to like this uh, little flower pot applique because the color, all of the colors are yellow, white, and green. Each of the uh, little flower urns or flower pots is the same. Each of the flowers are the same, so it's very uniform looking. And this yellow is a nice, bright, bright sunshine yellow. Really pretty. It's all been quilted by hand and uh, done really nicely. Let me bring one of these little appliques over and show you up close. They're just nice little posies with two colors on the green, a lighter green and a darker green. This has the same color yellow border and binding, and uh, it's really in good condition. I don't see any fabric wear on this or any discolorations. It's in good shape, not even anywhere on the binding. $2.99 is your price. $2.419 is the number on this, and the dimension 79 by 65. Here's a nice nine patch or nine block, whichever you prefer. It's from the 1930s and 40s. Now, this has been treadle quilted, so um, all of the quilting, it's very heavily quilted, and that has held the fabric together really nicely. And the colors range from the mauves and pinks, reds, blues, greens, all kinds of uh, print fabric go to make up these nine blocks, and she's used a little red print with green and yellow <clears throat> on it for the border, and then that goes out to the binding as well. Really pretty. Now, this has held together nicely. And again, it is machine quilted, but there's no wear on this at all. In fact, let me turn it over on the back. Look at that. You can see how heavily quilted that is. So that's what's held the fabric together so well. There's not even any uh, fabric wear on this on the binding. It's really in good shape. And look at the price. Just $149. It's from the 30s and the 40s. 2081 is the number and the dimensions 89 by 77. For those of you out there who may love to do the crafts made out of old quilts, we have a large accumulation of those quilts that are just too damaged or showing too much wear to be sold as quilts or for restoration. Now, for those of you who haven't seen what I'm talking about, they make wonderful items like vests 
and teddy bears and during Christmas the wonderful Santa Claus is made out of the old quilts. In fact, I just ran into a lady yesterday who had a wonderful jacket made out of a double wedding ring quilt. There are some marvelous, marvelous craft items. So we have a large accumulation of these quilts. If you're interested, you need to call the 800 number during our business hours and ask for Donna. I have great news for you quilters out there. We have a large accumulation of wonderful quilt tops. Now these have never been quilted and they are just gorgeous. In our warehouse in Kansas here, we have a large collection of quilt tops that when quilted would make nice quilts, but these are exceptional. You're just gonna be thrilled. So we've put them on a two hour videotape for you that you can watch at your convenience in the comfort of your own home and order. These date from the 1800s to about the 1940s. Now, a book accompanies this, and it'll describe each quilt top, tell you all about it, so you can uh, order with confidence. All you have to do is call the 800 number, and the price of the uh, video is just $5.99, so call now. Hi. For those of you who may be just tuning in, we're liquidating a collection of antique quilts. Now, some of these quilts have been in storage for over 50 years, and they're all one of a kind. There are no reproductions. Now, if you see a quilt that you really like, you need to call right away because these sell out fast. And we can only sell each quilt to the first caller. Now, if you see a quilt that you're not sure of, Please let somebody else have it who really, really loves it. I try hard to mention everything I see in regard to uh, condition problems they have, but if I miss something small, give me a break. I only have the time that the quilts are on the bed to look at them, and these are antiques. Now, some of them have minor wear or small spots, and those are to be expected, but if I fail to mention something that seriously detracts from the beauty or the value of the quilts, then of course you may return it. Now, we're going to continue these programs each week at the same time until all of the quilts are gone, so be sure and watch us each week. Now, very few people are receiving this broadcast, so please invite your friends over each week to watch. Now, back to the quilts. I have a nice big grandmother's flower garden to show you now. As a matter of fact, I'll give you the dimensions up front, 88 by 83. So if you're looking for one of the larger ones, again, this is a double bed, and this comes down right to or just below the bottom of this double bed frame. Lots of pretty colors in this, lots of yellow. If you're looking to pick up a little bit of yellow, there's even some pumpkin color in here and uh, some peach, the peaches and corals, as well as some lavender and blue and little bits of pink. This is really pretty many, many thousands of pieces. And I want to show you instead of putting a binding a separate binding on this she has sewn together the back and the front and the stitches are so small that it almost looks like it has a binding I, I can't explain that to you but the stitches she's used to uh, sew these together are just so small it's really unbelievable so it's uh, zigzag all the way around just beautiful and it is straight across the top small little zigzags across the top really a pretty pretty grandmother's flower garden 399 is the price 5800 is the number and the dimensions 88 by 83. This tulip pattern is so unusual. Wait till you see it up close from a distance. It's a real optical illusion. It looks like these diamond shaped pieces are laid on top of these frames, or it looks like a picture frame. You know how like when they pack a picture frame and, and they put the paper on the corner? Really an interesting, interesting illusion. I like that. It's from the 20s and the 30s. Now this is appearing very orange on my monitor. That is not orange. It's a golden yellow. So don't think that's orange because it isn't yellow or uh, this golden yellow rather and two shades of green on white are the only colors on this beautifully quilted all been done by hand just an exceptional quilting job this is a beautiful beautiful piece in fact let me turn it over on the back can you see the amount of quilting on this it's just extraordinary this is another one that's finished off so beautifully on the back you could very well turn it over and use it on both sides gorgeous 299 is the price 6576 is the number of this quilt and the dimensions 80 by 64 
Boy, one of you is going to get a great quilt when you order this one. It's uh, a rolling stone. That's the pattern. Lots of burgundy and then red, white, and blue. This is from the 1880s and 90s. What a great pattern. What a great quilt. And you know what? The only thing wrong with this quilt is the binding has frayed away, and I will show that to you. You could certainly use it as it is because it is very old, 1880s. I mean, let's face it, that's very, very old. But I want to show you the binding so you know exactly what I mean. The binding has just frayed off. So you can leave it like it is, or you may wish to put a new binding on it straight all the way around so it's not certainly going to be as much trouble as one that's zigzagged or, or scalloped. This is just a beautiful quilt. She's done the fan quilting. You may be able to see that on the back. Um, it's all been done by hand. Beautiful colors. Now, some of these colors have lost a little bit of their intensity, but still the burgundy, you can see the true burgundy and the navy and the red. This is just really pretty. It's unusual to find a quilt this old, this pattern with uh, nothing wrong with it, but just the binding. And look at this price, just $149. That's a great price for this old quilt. 1336 is the number. The dimensions 66 by 65, so it's great wall hanging size too. And look at that, just $149. If you're looking for some of the southwest colors, southwestern colors, take a look at this Lone Star. It's so pretty. It's from the 20s and 30s. Lots of reds, oranges, and golds. Some pumpkin color. It's all on white. This is really pretty. Lots and lots of quilting. It's all been done by hand. This is in such great shape. You can still see her pencil marks where she did her quilting. And I want to show you what she did on all four sides of this, top, bottom, and both sides. She's put half of a, another little small eight-point star, and that is in a double quilt quilted circle. Really pretty. That's on both sides and at the top and at the bottom. Now there's an extra row of border along the top and I don't know if you're able to see that. There you go. That isn't at the bottom so this would uh, enable you to put this up over your pillows. This is just a beautiful Lone Star. Really, really pretty. Nice piecing, nice quilting and it's in great condition. Um, like I say, you can still see the pencil marks where she did her quilting so it's in great shape. No fabric around this at all. This is a pretty Lone Star. 20s and 30s. $4.99 is the price. 3004 is the number and the dimensions 78 by 70 for the Lone Star. Now here's a double wedding ring with a little different twist. You know, we see florals and prints in the blocks connecting the rings. We see the solid colors. We very seldom ever see white. And this gives it a, an entirely different look. Each of her four blocks are done in white. However, she's done all of her quilting in a nice gold color. In fact, it is, uh, I would call a true gold or camel color. Actually, it's more gold and yellow. So the quilting really, really shows up beautifully. Let me show you one of those entire blocks there so you can see the pattern. Isn't that pretty? Nice quilting, tiny little stitches. This is scalloped all the way around. She's also done something interesting to the corners here. As opposed to being rounded off as a lot of the grandmother or, or the double wedding rings are, rather, she has put a little extra addition to the corner to make it blend in with the zigzags along the sides. This is a real nice double wedding ring. I like this. Real pretty. Lots of attention to detail and lots of yellow. If you're trying to pick some of that up, it is from the 20s and the 30s. $349 is the price. $3106 is the number and the dimensions are 80 by 64. This quilt reminds me of springtime. It's the four tulips pattern from the 20s and 30s, green and purple and uh, kind of a deep pink. Actually, it's more a light red, if you will. It's got an off-white background. Now, the batting has uh, shifted or separated slightly under this. You'll see the areas that aren't heavily quilted, and the batting has just bunched up a little bit in there, but lots of piecing on this. Now, the binding has... Um, has frayed, as you'll be able to see. So sometimes people like to leave those like they are, and sometimes people like to replace them. But this is showing considerable fabric wear, and you will see that the price reflects that, just $99 for this four tulips. These appliques have been put on by uh, machine, by the way, old treadle machine. 9979 is the number, and the dimensions 79 by 67. 
Here's a pink and white triple Irish chain from around the uh, turn of the century, actually the early 1900s. Nice quilting and piecing on this. She's, it's all pink and white, by the way, and she's quilted wreaths in the center of each. Now, at some point in time, someone has come back in and restored several of these little panels with uh, uh, perhaps fabric paint, I believe, and you'll be able to see that. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on, on camera. Probably not, wouldn't you know? Yeah, here's one right here that's been touched up, but several of these have been uh, touched up with fabric paint. So just as long as you know that someone has restored this at one time or another with uh, fabric paint, but the quilting is still beautiful. And if this is one that you're going to use on your bed or even fold on your quilt rack, you really have to look for these uh, pieces in order to see them. It's a pretty triple Irish chain. $2.99 is the price, 9348 is the number, and the dimensions, 82 by 72. Now here's a quilt that looks like just a good old country patchwork quilt. It's not a lot of quilting, there's not a lot of beauty to it, but boy, there's some wonderful old fabric from the 1940s and 50s, so if you like that, uh, that era, if you like that fabric, you're really going to love this. Lots of green, red, blue. There's one piece of fabric over here. I have to show this to you. It's so funny. It has the uh, kitchen utensils on it. Look at this. Look at this piece of fabric. It has the spatula and the ladles and the cake server, and I think these are like probably little cookie cutters maybe hanging down there, and I don't know what else, but anyway, there's some, there's some interesting fabric on this. Now, showing a little bit of fabric where it is... Um, there are several pieces that are beginning to show some wear, but then it's not very heavily quilted, so it's allowed the fabric to kind of wear a little bit, particularly along the uh, sides. $49, though, is your price. Hey, the fabric alone's worth that, huh? Not to mention the uh, batting and the backing. 9640 is the number. The dimensions on this 89 by 76. The patchwork at just $49. Are you still looking for a nice little crib quilt to have perhaps to use for yourself or as a gift for someone? Well, here's one from the 1920s and 30s. This uh, delicate little floral fabric has little baskets. They're tied with blue ribbons and little flowers. Now, some of the pink has washed out of this. You'll see that every once in a while, but the fabric has remained intact. It's really in excellent condition. The binding is done in a peach, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Not taffeta, but you know the the uh, fabric that set like satin, that your blankets, like the top of your blankets, that's what this binding is. And it's real pretty. It's in great shape. I really don't see any fabric wear. The batting may have shifted just slightly under this, but it's still a great crib quilt. These are hard to find. 20s and the 30s. Look at the price on this, too. Just $49. That's a good price. 9964 is the number, and the dimensions, 39 by 31. If you love the red, white, and blue, you're going to love this quilt. It's the Ohio Star, and it's all done in navy, red, and white. Just beautiful. This is my very favorite 1800s fabric. If you've been with me before, you know this navy. I just love this. The navy with the tiny, tiny little... Um, five-point stars all over it. Just beautiful. And then this is a very, very pale little white fabric with little tiny red print on it. Let me, let me show you one of these uh, stars up close, and there's a red print fabric behind it as well. Really pretty. Boy, this is a nice quilt. Little bit of wear on the binding, not a lot. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm saying wear, but what I mean to say is the color has just, there's a little bit of wear, yeah, a little bit of color wear on the binding, but this is a nice quilt, nice pattern. Um, I see a little bit of fabric wear right up here at the top in one place. Great old quilt, 1880s and 90s. Just think about how old this thing is. $3.99 is the price. It's been well taken care of. One three 310 is the number and the dimensions on the 73 by 70 on the Ohio Star. Here's the Grandmother's Flower Garden, big Grandmother's Flower Garden with lots of pastels and lots of brights. The colors range from deep reds to greens, yellows, and then lavenders, pinks. Um, there's even some mauve up here and some uh, 
deeper blue, really pretty. Each of these pieces has been quilted around. The background is all white. Now this has been mended in a couple of small places. Some of the colors have washed out just a little, certainly not this red you're looking at. There are some bleach spots on this. There's one right down here in the green. I don't know if you can see that. Just right around the center, there's some bleach spots and another couple of places where there's a small bleach spot on this. Um, but otherwise, it's in great shape. Nowhere on the binding at all. The binding is in a deep royal blue, and it is scalloped all the way around in nice, uh, in nice condition. So it's Grandmother's Flower Garden, 1930s and 40s. 249 is your price, 77 by 72 other dimensions. And it's number 6356. If you like just a carnival of colors and you're not needing the southwestern colors, um, so to speak, you might take a look at this Lone Star. Absolutely beautiful. It starts in the center with a very deep green and then it goes to fuchsia, yellow, almost a, well, it is a blue, um, pink, deep pink, kind of a teal, then yellow, purple, green, pink, and those colors are repeated out to the, uh, out to the tips of the star. Really pretty. Lots of quilting on this. All of her quilting is done. She's done it, um, the fan quilting. As you can see with the rainbow quilting, it's heavily quilted, showing a little bit of fabric wear, but this is a nice Lone Star, especially if you are going to put it up on the wall to display it, but it does have a little bit of fabric wear. $2.99 is the price. It uh, is number 2754, and the dimensions are 72 by 63. If you're looking for a really special crib quilt, take a look at this. It's just darling. It's all done in pink and blue and yellow on white. Nicely quilted, darling little characters on this. Lots of embroidery work. There's a little girl here with pantaloons and a great big full skirt blowing in the wind, and she's got her watering can. She's watering those flowers. She has a ribbon back here and golden, uh, golden curly hair. And then there's a little farmer boy down here with a rake. He's doing some... He's doing some work. Just beautiful, nicely quilted. As a matter of fact, she's quilted in blue. There's a flower. There's a bouquet of flowers here, yellow, pink, and blue. And then that bouquet is... Um well, not the bouquet, but the flower is recreated in quilting here. The binding is pink. Just a darling crib quilt in great condition. What more can I say? You're really going to like this. It's so cute. Great condition, too. One ninety nine is your price for this crib quilt. 8121 is the number and the dimensions. 44 by 32. Remember, these make great wall hangings for children's rooms. Now here's an interesting quilt. Of course you can see there's a lot of red, white, and blue on this and yellow as well. In fact, the blocks are yellow. Now this, this quilt is really showing quite a bit of wear and uh, there are some small discolorations on it. In fact, you're going to see one right here on this uh, block. But what's interesting about this, number one, is the fabric. And uh, there's some interesting old fabric in here from the 20s and 30s. And what's really interesting, and you're looking at some of this uh, red fabric now, but what's really interesting is the fabric on the back. And if you love this old 20s and 30s fabric, you are going to get such a kick out of the fabric on the back of this thing. There are, um, let's see, where are they? Here are some little poodles. There's some little Dutch boys over here on the bottom over here. And you can see that the batting, or the binding rather, is uh, really virtually gone all the way around. But here are horses and buggies horse and buggies with uh, a man and a lady in a hat. He has on a top hat and also there's just some wonderful fabric on the back of this. If you want to fold it and use it on the front, it's great. It is showing quite a bit of wear, but again, look at the price. That reflects the wear and the age of this. 5219 is the uh, number and the dimensions 83 by 70. And don't forget about the great fabric on the back of this. You're going to like it. Here's a nice big churn dash pattern for you. This is from the 1950s and 60s. Now, this is not polyester filled, by the way. As a matter of fact, it feels as if it may have a blanket in the center, which is great because that prevents the um, um, batting from shifting, so you know that's never going to shift on you. But that's what it feels like to me is perhaps a light blanket. Lots of turquoise blue in this, and this pattern is really cute. It has a little... 
a little uh, man and woman, maybe a farmer, and his wife, and trees, and some flowers, and a duck, and chickens, and all. You can see that fabric. Now, this is not heavily quilted at all. Each piece has been quilted around, but as you can see, the pieces are, are a little bit large, so there isn't a lot of quilting on this, but the blanket in between has prevented it from, uh, uh, from the batting from shifting, rather, so it's still nice and flat. The white is real white, and it's a great price at just $49. This is big, too. 95 by 82. The uh, number is 7727. Again, it's a great price, just $49. Call now. Oh, this is pretty. We were trying to decide what makes this so unique looking um, before we began this presentation. And I think it's the fact that she has stitched around each piece of these appliques as opposed to just perhaps the outside. It gives it so much dimension. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous floral applique. Red, blue, yellow, green. It's just absolutely beautiful on pure white. And I want to bring one of these red flowers over and show you what I mean by the dimension and the detail. It's just extraordinary. You see how, how she has done <clears throat> the needlework around each piece as opposed to just on the outside. So it really gives it so much dimension. It almost feels as if you could just reach over and pick this flower or smell it. It's absolutely beautiful. And she's done that same thing on all of these flowers. Now look around the edges. Look at all the red polka dots all around the edge. This is slightly scalloped all the way around. Just beautiful. Boy, there's something about this quilt that's really, really beautiful. And then you have the swag at the bottom and at the top. Absolutely beautiful. No uh, fabric wear that I can see. No color loss, certainly. The colors are nice and bright. This is just so pretty. You're going to like this one. $6.99 is the price. 2383 is the number. And the dimensions 88 by 76. There's lots of red, white, and blue on this quilt. It's a star quilt, eight-point stars all over. It's very heavily quilted. She's quilted a wreath in between each of these stars, and it's really nicely done. It's all done by hand, tiny little stitches, and when the camera gets a close-up, you'll be able to see these pretty wreaths. It's very deeply quilted, nice. Now, some of this blue is washed out just a little bit. It's beginning to show a little bit of fabric wear, and there is some fabric wear, particularly around the binding of this. As a matter of fact, much of the binding is... Um, is gone or is frayed away. But look at those gorgeous wreaths quilted in there. Isn't that pretty? And as you can see by the bottom here, the, the uh, batting, or the batting, the binding is very frayed. As a matter of fact, there is no binding around much of this quilt. But boy, is it pretty. Great display piece. 1910s and 20s, 199 is your price. 8501 is the number, and the dimensions are 78 by 67. Here's a beautiful quilt that has uh, required lots and lots and lots of work. It's amazing the hours that must have been put in on some of these quilts, not only for the uh, quilting and the piecing, but the embroidery work. This, In this case, it's embroidery and cross-stitch. Beautiful pink. This is a deep pink with blue. And then each of these blocks is a beautiful six-point star with lots of cross-stitch. I'll pull one of these over so you can see. I want you to look at these flowers and look how beautiful. Can you imagine? Imagine how long it must have taken to uh, do all of those flowers and the cross stitch and the quilting. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. Small, tiny little stitches, and there are 12 of these uh, on the quilt. It's really pretty. This is in great condition. I see several small little, and I don't know if this is like, like black ink or something, just very small right in here. And with what they're doing with uh, the bleaches and things now and the enzymes, you may very well be able to, to remove that with a Q-tip if you didn't want to launder the whole thing. This is a nice quilt from the 20s and the 30s. $3.99 is the price. Lots of cross stitch, lots of embroidery, lots of quilting. 3172 is the number and the dimensions are 69 by 64. I know sometimes you must get so excited when uh, the picture comes up and there's a new quilt on the bed and it's just exactly what you've been looking for. Well, in this case, you're really in luck because it's a matched pair. These are just exquisite. They are floral appliques, beautiful pink, blue, a little bit of red, some green, heavily quilted. These are just exquisite. Wait till you see the detail on these. They are so pretty. You're looking at a little blue print here with yellow in the center. Let me pull one of these over. I'll show you on the other quilt so you can 
really see the detail on these flowers. Look at the flowers and the buds. She's used the same red fabric and paired it with pink here and then red for the little buds. Here's a blue bud. This is just exquisite. It's all been done by hand. Even all of these appliques have been put on by hand. They're just exquisite. And that same red little tiny print, little tulip print, is on the bindings, both of the bindings as well. These are just exquisite. You are going to fall in love with these if you haven't already when you get them home. 1930s and 40s, the price, $6.99. Now, you may purchase one. Um, I think you're going to wish that you had purchased two. You may purchase one, of course, at $6.99, and, or you may purchase the set. They are $6.99 each. Now the, now, the dimensions on these, 81 by 72. They are quilt number 8845, the floral appliques, and they are beautiful, $6.99 each. This is such a pretty old piece of Americana from around the turn of the century, actually. Lots of burgundy and some black and some navy. Lots of polka dot. I like the polka dots, so if you do too, you'll like this. Also, some black and white check. This is very, very old. It is showing some fabric wear, and there are a few small, like, storage discolorations on this. But, boy, fabric-wise, it's really held up beautifully. There's not a lot of fabric wear on this at all. Some of the burgundy has washed out just slightly. Not this in particular but some of this burgundy down here on other parts of these stars, some of it has just lost a bit of its intensity, but this is such a nice quilt that you really, you don't notice that because you're just looking at the overall quilt. It is showing a little bit of fabric where there's a couple of pieces of fabric that just hasn't worn as well as the rest, but again, look at the date. This is around the turn of the century, so it's uh, quite old, almost 100 years old as a matter of fact. $2.99 is the, is the price, 3552 is the number, and the dimensions 81 by 68. Here's another darling little crib quilt or youth quilt, if you will, little straw hat boys and sunbonnet girls or sunbonnet sues. You see these called uh, farmer boys, straw hat boys, overall Sam, uh, lots and lots of names. But this one is cute. She's done a lot of needlework on suspenders and around the appliques. White background. She's done the fan quilting or the rainbow quilting. Blue. This is a dusty blue, if you will. And then the little girls have on some pink and some green, some lavender, and there's a little uh, bright yellow or green golden yellow um, right down in the corner. This is so cute. Not a lot of fabric wear at all, if any. I don't see any. Nicely quilted. It's all been done by hand. This would make a great little wall hanging for you or even to give to someone as a shower gift or as a baby gift. It would be a darling little gift. It's from the 1920s and 30s. $1.99 is your price. 3281 is the number and the dimensions are 47 by 31. If you like the blues and the greens and you want a very, very old quilt, this would be a great one for you. As a matter of fact, if you're into quilt restoration, this would be perfect. This is very heavily quilted. The quilting is so beautiful. Um, very small little stitches. And look at the date on this. This is around the turn. It's almost 100 years old. Now, many of these pieces, this particular fabric, the white with a little blue and black print, much of that is beginning to wear away or has worn away. So if you would like to replace that, you're going to have a nearly perfect quilt. Honestly, it's beautiful. The green has remained in pretty good condition. It's this white, and many of these panels over on this side have worn through. But if you restore quilts, as I know a lot of you do, um, especially out there in California, I know several of you who restore quilts. I'm telling you, this would be beautiful. There's no wear on the binding of this at all. Um, a cup, some of the blue is washed out just a little bit, but the quilting really makes this outstanding. You just don't see tiny little stitches like this anymore. I can't imagine needles that small, to be honest with you. 249 is the price. 2402 is the number. It has a nice clean white back. Lots and lots of quilting. They're just some of these these white squares um, have worn through. 2402 is the number, and again, the dimension 72 by 71 on the 9 block. If you like the orange shades, this is a great quilt from the 20s and 30s. Lots of old, old fabric in here. Now, several of these pieces have just... Um, 
washed out. The color is just washed out. You'll see right down in here, it appears as if someone at some time has laundered this and bleached it out. Some of the orange is bleached out, but in other parts, it's still nice and bright. Fabric-wise, it's in great condition. There's really no fabric or some of the orange. Some of the colors have just lightened a little bit. Uh, the back is a beautiful yellow, a beautiful deep, rich yellow. You can see it has a nice, clean, uh, real pretty, bright yellow back on it. Some of the orange is just a little bit lightened. If you're going to fold that and put it on a quilt rack, as I always say, it doesn't matter anyway. The binding on this is yellow. $1.99 is your price. It is from the 20s and the 30s. Um, lots and lots of pieces on this, as you can see. 4755 is the number and the dimensions, 78 by 60. Here's a pretty Dresden plate, lots of orange and yellow on this. This is the prettiest pastel yellow, just a very pale yellow. It's heavily quilted, all been done by hand. And then there are four pieces on each of these Dresden plates that are orange, so they really stand out from the rest of the print fabric. Really nicely done. She's quilted a little circle in the center of each of these plates and you're coming up on that beautiful pale yellow here some of the other colors the purples and the reds and the blues and the greens lots and lots of uh, little floral fabric on this it's really finished off nicely on the back the binding is in the same pale pale yellow has a nice clean white back by the way and you can see all of the quilting i love to look at the back of these because Sometimes the colors just distract you um, on the front, but you can really see the amount of quilting on the back on the white. I love to look at that when they're nicely quilted like this. It's in great condition, by the way. It doesn't appear to have had any use um, at all, anywhere at all. $2.99 is the price on this Dresden plate. $4.029 is the number, and the dimensions are 81 by 79. I've grown to like this pattern, and we don't see it very often anymore. The pattern is called peeled orange. Now, this is from the 30s and the 40s. There's a lot of pink, red, blue, some green. It's on a white background. Now, this is showing some fabric where there are several of these little leaf-shaped panels or, or uh, peel-shaped panels, if you will, that have begun to show some wear. And I don't have one over here by me that I can pull over and show you a close-up of, but... Um, there are several of them that have frayed around the edges or have worn through. Now, there's a blanket in the middle of this as opposed to batting. So the batting hasn't shifted at all because it's a blanket in between. In fact, where one of the panels is frayed, you can see the blue blanket right, right here. So that batting isn't going to shift. So if you want to use this, you may want to just put a little bit of time in it, replace a couple of these panels. And it's still a nice, um, a nice quilt. The colors have lost maybe a little bit of their intensity density, but not a lot. It's still a nice quilt. I like the looks of these peeled orange patterned quilts. $99 is the price. 7975 is the number, the quilt number, and the dimensions on this, 75 by 67. Here's a very pretty, very unique grandmother's flower garden. All of the flowers are the same color. This is so pretty. The fabric around the outside of the flower is a red print, little touches of blue here and there. Then the inside, this is almost a teal, a, like a turquoise teal, if you will. The center of each one is yellow with a background of white, and she's quilted around each of these. Now, someone at some time or another has there may have been spots or bleach marks on this. You can't really see it. Someone has touched this up with um, like fabric paint, perhaps, and there are a couple of places where that has occurred. You really have to look for it, but I just wanted to let you know it was there. This is a nice grandmother's flower garden. It's big, too, 86 by 85, so if you're looking for one of the larger ones, the reverse side of this is quite nice. And by the way, again, she has... Instead of putting a separate binding on this, the two pieces are sewn together by hand with tiny, tiny little stitches. Just amazing. So this is scalloped all the way around. Lots of work on this. It's really quite pretty. And if you like these two colors and you like them together, then this is the quilt for you. $2.99 is the price. $1.384 is the number and the dimensions on this again. 86 by 85. 
is a pretty double wedding ring, white background. She's done a lot of quilting in between the rings. And she's chosen just random fabric for her blocks. It always gives it such a different appearance than the solid blocks. Very lacy. Now, this is not scalloped all the way around. This is straight on all four sides. But she has put the appearance of scallops with the border, as you can see, with them draping down here. And then the tiny little pieces. In fact, let me show you this. This is a lot of work. Look around the border. She's taken the tiny little pieces and put them all around this quilt to form the uh, border and then with a white binding. This is really pretty. It's not heavily quilted, but uh, the batting has not shifted. As a matter of fact, I think, again, this is a blanket in between, so the batting is not going to shift on you. So it's a nice double wedding ring, nice and lightweight and um, a nice size to 71 by 59 are the dimensions on this. 249 is the price. It is from the 30s and the 40s. 2012 is the number. And again, the dimension 71 by 59. I haven't seen this pattern in a while and I really like it. It's the bear paw. Lots of pink and purple and blue and red and brown and yellow on this. And it's such a pretty quilt. Now, this is really soft. It's showing a lot of fabric wear, but you can't tell that from a distance, can you? It's really nice. Let me pull one of the sides over here and show you what I mean when I say that it's soft. It's just, see all of this fabric? It's just deteriorating. It's just beginning to show considerable fabric wear. But boy, from a distance, if you're going to put this on a quilt rack, nobody's going to, uh, nobody's going to know. But it is soft. It is showing fabric wear. Nice pattern, though. Nice colors. I just like this pattern. 80 by 70 are the dimensions on this from the 30s and the 40s. Look at the price, $99. Hey, now this is a great deal for $99, I think. 4660 is the number. Again, it's the Bear Paw for $99. The dimensions, 80 by 70. Here's a pretty Irish chain from the 20s and 30s, and it's all done in a rose color or mauve, if you will, and white. It's heavily quilted. It's all been done by hand. Now, there's no fancy quilting on here, but there's a lot of it, and it's done uh, crisscrossed horizontally and vertically, vertically, rather. So it's very heavily quilted. The fabric is held up beautifully, and the color has even remained nice and vivid, real pretty. Let me show you. She's done some. Uh, um, a triple quilting over here on the sides out to a white border and then a white binding and the reverse side, the back side, is real nice and white and in good condition. This is a pretty Irish chain. Now she's used a couple of different colors of pink. Um, there's one, a couple of pieces here toward the top that she's used, just a little different color of pink, perhaps a different dye lot. And when it was laundered, it just faded just a little bit differently. But this is a pretty Irish chain. $3.99 is the price. 20s and 30s, this is such a popular color right now. 71.24 is the number in the dimensions. 81 by 67. Here's a nice double wedding ring. This has a lot of the 30s and 40s uh, floral fabrics, lots of reds and blues and greens on a white background. All of it's done by hand. All of her quilting is done by hand. She's used the various fabrics in the blocks, which gives it a different appearance than when you use the solid or the matching pieces in the rings. Now, this is uh, straight on all four sides. It doesn't have the... Um, uh, the scallops, but she gives the appearance of the scallops by bringing the pieces of the rings down. And then she's used some of that uh, colorful floral fabric for the binding as well. It's really a nice condition. Some of the colors have, have lost a little bit of their intensity, but this is still a nice double wedding ring from the 30s and the 40s. It's number 7087. 299 is the price, and the dimensions are 72 by 60. There's a very colorful nine block variation. Now this is from the 1940s and 50s. And although it is very colorful, it's not heavily quilted. And it does have some fabric damage on it. I'll pull down the top and show you there's just kind of a chunk taken out of the top. This would be great for some of your crafts. Uh, some of your better crafts if those of you who make the teddy bears and the vests and the coats. When I was in California, I saw a lady with the cutest jacket on made out of a quilt. And it was probably something just like this. You can see that it's just not heavily quilted. Now let me pull this down and I'm going to show you. When I say there's a little bit of damage at the top, say there's just a chunk taken out of the top here. Now we don't know who took that chunk out of there, but there's just a chunk out of the top. So there is some wear on this. Most of it is around the binding though. That's at the top 
and along the binding. But the colors are still nice and bright, so if you're into some of those nicer crafts, this would be a great quilt for you at only $49. 80 by 69 are the dimensions. 5492 is the number on this nine patch. And uh, again, it's a great price, just $49. Oh, this is so pretty. Wait till you see this up close. It's a beautiful spring bouquet on this white quilt. Not only is the applique work just amazing, beautifully done, very, very intricate, but the quilting is gorgeous. Tiny little stitches. There are flowers and uh, wreaths quilted in all of these white areas. But I really, really want you to see these flowers because they look as if, I mean, if you could imagine if a machine could do this, these stitches are so small you would think a machine has done it. These are all done by hand. Pink, blue, look at these little French knots in the center. Pink, blue, purple, yellow on a white background. This is a great big purple bow that's draped around the stems of this bouquet. Just beautiful. Some rosebuds here, some pink tulips with tiny, tiny little embroidery stitches up the sides of the tulip to give it um, a little depth. Just gorgeous. Now this has been mended in a couple of places, but boy, I tell you, you have to really look for them. It is scalloped all the way around the, bat the batting, rather has shifted slightly underneath around the edges where it isn't heavily uh, quilted. But boy, I'm telling you, this is just stunning. You're going to be so happy with this when you get it home. It's just beautiful. Lots of work. You're going to be very impressed with the workmanship on this. 349 is your price. 3284 is the number and the dimensions 82 by 71. Now this is an ocean waves pattern and it's really quite old. This has been loved a lot, so it's showing quite a bit of wear, both in, in uh, discolorations, in loss of color, and in fabric wear. So this might be, again, one that you want to use for some of your better crafts. This is red and white. It almost appears pink from a distance. It is appearing pink from a distance, but it is red and white. And then the background is white with a little black polka dot. Sometimes you can uh, see that. You have to be pretty close to that to see here's the white fabric with a little black polka dots. But you can see there is some discoloration on this and quite a bit of fabric where it's a great old pattern though, but uh, it is one that you would want to use for some of your crafts, but it's almost 100 years old too. $49 is the price. 6131 is the number on this Ocean Waves pattern. 78 by 77 are the dimensions and you can't beat the price, just $49. Here's a unique applique for you. This is from the 20s and the 30s. It's a patchwork basket. I don't believe I've ever seen one of these. It's really unique. All of these irregular shaped pieces of patchwork, almost like a crazy quilt blanket, if you will. Various um, floral fabrics in all different shapes of pieces and then some flowers at the top and the handle of the basket is in that same. Now much of this lavender or purple has washed out. You can see the purple right here. Lots of quilting on this, but much of the color has just washed out. There's a yellow bouquet of flowers at each corner and um, again down closer to the border you can see it's a little bit darker. This purple is a little bit darker right down here in some areas it's just washed out. This is really heavily quilted though. Lots and lots of quilting and it's big 95 by 79 so if you're looking for something a little bit larger this may be the one for you it's a 20s and 30s quilt 299 is your price 3050 is the number and again the dimensions 95 by 79 What a rare find this is. If you'll look at the sign behind me, you'll see this is pre-1850s. This pattern is pomegranate, and what's really unusual about this is, number one, that the quilt still exists in this good a condition, but these are all stuffed. Each of the pomegranates, the leaves, and the stems are stuffed. Now, there are some discolor storage discolorations on this. You can see one right there. This is an off-white background, but I'm telling you, this is so unique. It has, of course, all been done by hand. I want to pull this over and see if you can s I don't know if you can see the dimension on this, but this stands up a good, maybe, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, not a quarter of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch from the fabric. It's just so dimensional, unbelievable. They're really heavily stuffed. And each of these pomegranates and all of the stems and all of the leaves are stuffed. Just great. Now this has been mended in one small place down here and there are some storage stains on here, perhaps from cedar. There's a stain right down here toward the side. But I tell you, this is such a rare find. And if you're going to fold this or even use it as a wall hanging, you know, a lot of the museum quilts have discolorations on them. I was amazed when I saw some of these that they um, 
claim to be museum quality and uh, many of them are discolored just by age and by storage so this is nothing new this is a great quilt though beautiful red green gold pre 1850s 399 is the price 1727 is the number you just won't find another one like this 76 by 64 are the dimensions and again the price just 399 I have a double wedding ring to show you now. This is from the 1930s and 40s. It's rather primitive and it is showing some fabric wear, but there's nice coloration uh, for those of you who may want to do a little mending on this or perhaps use it for some of your better crafts. There's a lot of red and green in it, but the, the quilting is just a little bit primitive. Red and green are the colors she's used in the blocks connecting the rings. It's a white background and there is fabric damage on this. Every once in a while you're going to see a little piece, one of these little um, pieces that are beginning to wear, that have begun to wear, and there is considerable wear on the binding. It's scalloped all the way around, nice size, 70 by 68, but it's just showing some fabric wear, and you'll see that the price reflects that. 149 is the price. It's from the 30s and 40s, number 3330, and uh, it's a great price, just 149. Here's an old 1880s, late 1880s crazy quilt. Lots of velvet and even some brocade silk and satin in this. It is showing a little bit of fabric where there are several pieces of silk that have begun to deteriorate. But it's just a beautiful crazy quilt. Lots of um, colors, lots of blue and rust and gold. And so if you're looking to pick up some of the Southwest colors, here's a nice piece of uh, brocade. Here's some silk. Looks like perhaps a man's tie. Here's some pink silk. And you'll see when the camera comes back out, this pink silk is one that's beginning to fray just a little bit deteriorate. Now, sometime within the last 100 years or so, someone has uh, taken it upon themselves to add some interesting little glittery uh, 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 binding on this. They've put silver, and it's over the top of this, by the way, so you certainly could remove it, but they've put uh, silver right down here at the top and the bottom and gold along the sides. So uh, that is not an original part of this uh, 1800s quilt. It does have some great fabric on the back though. So there is a little bit of fabric wear and you may leave the binding or replace it if you so desire. 299 is the price. 1069 is the number and the dimensions are 81 by 62. There's a beautiful old Irish chain from the 1870s and 80s. Lots of rusts and browns and blacks in this. It's really nice. Now, some of these pieces, although this is different fabric, it has faded just a little differently, but the light area you're, you're looking here, as you can see, is different fabric. Beautiful old 1800s fabric, and I want you to look at this quilting. It's triple quilted diagonally across, just Beautiful. Lots and lots of quilting, which is why the fabric has stayed in such good condition. There really is no fabric wear on this quilt. Maybe beginning a slight amount on the binding, and I really can't even say that it's, it's frayed. This is in excellent condition. Nice lightweight. There are a couple of small bleach spots right down here, but uh, um, like I always say, if you're going to fold it and put it on your quilt rack, you're not going to see those anyway. If you're going to use it on the bed, you're going to have to point it out to someone before they see it. 349 is the price. 8854 is the number, and the dimensions on this, 73 by 65. This beautiful pattern is called a Tonganoxie nine patch. There's a little town right here in Kansas called Tonganoxie, by the way. This is from the early 1900s, lots of red, white, and blue. Beautiful quilting on this. And again, that's why the fabric has stayed in such good shape. As a matter of fact, she's done triple quilting diagonally on this quilt. It's just beautiful. Now you're gonna find some fabric wear on this. Every once in a while, you're gonna see a little piece of fabric, such as this brown right here, that's beginning to show some wear. You'll see the little areas right here where it's beginning to wear, and some of them, are uh, worn a little bit more than that. You can see the batting through some of these up here at the top. But boy, this is such a pretty quilt in nice condition. The binding is in great condition on this. Some of the little squares are just beginning to show somewhere. If you're into quilt restoration, you could replace a few of these and really have an excellent quilt. It's um, from around the turn of the century. $2.99 is the price. 4506 is the number. The Tonganoxie 9 patch. I like that name. 72 by 61 are the dimensions. And again, the price just $2.99. If you love pastels, you're really going to like this Dresden plate. It's so pretty, lots of purple and pink. As a matter of fact, almost the whole thing is purple and pink with little touches of green here and there and some of this floral fabric. This is from the 1920s and 30s, and there are a couple of things unique about this. Number one, the border, and I'll show that to you in a moment. But the way she's done the quilting, she has quilted 
diagonally in both directions on this and in the center of each little square she's put an X. Can you imagine how long that must have taken? It's very unique looking up close. I know it's hard to see on the white, but uh, it is really pretty. And then she's doubled up her solid pieces on the plates using purple and pink, and then the matching floral fabric or the coordinating floral fabric. It's scalloped all the way around, and she's used the pieces of the plates to put this really pretty border all the way around. It really sets these plates off nicely. The binding is a light green, and it's in good shape. Four ninety. Is the price on this. 5672 is the number, the dimensions 85 by 74 on the Dresden plate. If you love butterflies and you really appreciate fine quilting, you're going to like this next quilt from the 20s and 30s. Lots and lots of butterflies, each one wearing a different floral fabric, and the quilting is just beautiful. Very small stitches. She's uh, quilted in a diamond pattern diagonally on the quilt. These blocks are kind of in a pale blue, almost a blue-green. And this color, although it's very hard to describe to you, is really kind of, if you can picture this, kind of a dusty peach. It's kind of a beigey peach, and I know, uh, hopefully you'll know what that means. It's a hard color to describe. With this quilt comes two pillow shams. Really pretty. She went to the trouble, and these are pocketed. You'll find the pocket. They each have butterflies on them. You'll find the pockets right here for these. They are matching. They have the polka dot butterflies on them, and those come right along with the quilt. So really, you're getting a lot for your money with this piece. It, it is from the 20s and the 30s. $2.99 is the price. 7807 is the number, the dimensions 80 by 71. And remember, the pillow shams come with. By the way, this is scalloped all the way around, and there's beautiful, beautiful quilting um, all over this. So uh, call now if you'd like to have this butterfly applique. The colors on this 1920s and 30s fly foot or spider, as some like to call it, are just beautiful. And you won't be able to see this delicate little floral fabric until we get a close-up. But lots and lots of early 1900s fabric on this, ranging from red, blue, pink, even some burgundy, some brown and black. Now you're able to see the colors on this and see the quilting. Isn't this pretty? It's a beautiful little, almost a periwinkle blue with little uh, yellow flowers surrounded by navy and the leaves and stems are navy as well. Real pretty. This is in great condition. I don't see any fabric wear on the binding or on the fabric itself. It's just beautiful. That's not a spot. That's just a little lint. It's very heavily quilted, nice, nicely quilted, all done by hand, by the way. This is sure pretty. I like it. We all liked it here in the studio. Three forty nine is the price. Eight 549 is the number of this quilt, and the dimensions are 76 by 66. This is such a beautiful quilt, as you can see, and it's really heavily quilted. This pattern is called Princess Feather. Originally, it was Prince as in uh, Prince of Wales, Prince's Feather, and over the years, it became Princess feather. Uh, so either one you prefer, but it's still beautiful. Completely done in a deep ruby red and white. As you can see, it's really heavily quilted. You can still see her pencil marks. This is in such great shape. Nice piecing. And look at this. I mean, look, can you imagine just cutting these out, much less sewing them on? Well, it's in great condition. Beautiful white, has an off-white background. No color loss on this at all and no fabric wear. It is exquisite. What a great addition to your collection. $9.99 is the price. The dimensions, 78 by 76. Can't you see this on a wall in your uh, great room or family room? Just beautiful. 1768 is the number, the princess feather, and again, the price, just $9.99. Here's a beautiful grandmother's flower garden. Lots of green and lots of uh, lots of color from orange, red, blue, purple. Uh, the center of each flower is really a butter soft yellow. The background is white. Each of these pieces have been quilted around and it's just beautiful. Really nicely done. Many thousands of pieces, of course. Now sometime during the last, I don't know, 60 years or so, someone has added a new binding and it appears that they put it over the old binding. So it may very well have been just to protect that old um, binding or it may have been getting just a little bit frayed. But the new binding is just a little bit greener than, than uh, these old pieces, as you can see. This is a beautiful grandmother's flower garden, though. Lots and lots. I just found some color uh, bleeding on the uh, reverse side of this, but it's in great shape fabric-wise. Beautiful colors and lots and lots of quilting. Three ninety-nine is the price. Nine three zero seven is the number. The dimensions eighty-two by seventy-six. 
There's a beautiful uh, drunkard's path. I really like these drunkard's paths when they're done in a variety of fabrics, sometimes better than the solid ones, although we most normally see them in solids. This is real pretty. It has a lot of 30s and 40s fabric on it, red, blue, green, even some plaids, some polka dots. It's on a white uh, background, and each piece, each of these pieces has been quilted around. This is a nice small drunkard's path also. Sometimes you see these that are just huge, and these pieces are really quite small, as you can see. Quite nice. Also, it's squared on all four sides. It's not scalloped or zigzagged. The binding is white, and this is really in good shape. Some of these colors have lost a little bit of their intensity, but certainly nothing... Uh, Nothing dramatic. It's really in great, great condition. I like this drunkard's path for some reason. 1930s and 40s, 249 is the price. 9390 is the number. And the dimensions 73 by 72. Gosh, I wish my flowers were blooming like the ones on this quilt. It's so pretty, 1930s and 40s. Lots of appliques, beautiful colors, vivid reds and oranges and yellows and blues. And look at all these gorgeous flowers. Here's some daffodils, some four o'clocks up here, some iris, uh, carnations down in the corner. Looks like some buttercups. Just beautiful, bright, vivid colors on a white background. And the flowers go all the way around this quilt. It has a bright orange binding on it to just so pretty. Yellow and orange and pink and blue flowers go all the way around. Look at the dimension on those. Isn't that pretty? It looks like you could just lift that up and smell it. Really pretty. Now this has been mended in a couple of places on the white and obviously you're going to have to look for that because I can't see it. It's hard to find. But see how these flowers go all the way around? Isn't that pretty? Really nice bright colors. Certainly no color loss on this one. $3.99 is the price on this applique. 9842 is the number and the dimensions 87 by 77. If you're still looking for a really nice double wedding ring and you happen to know someone who's a sailor, this might be the quilt for you. It's so pretty. Lots of uh, uh, sailing fabric on this from the 1930s and 40s. As a matter of fact, the blocks done in red, white, and blue, this red fabric contains some anchors and sailboats and things, so uh, you might keep that in mind. This has all been done by hand. Nice quilting on this. Very, very small little stitches. Here, I'll pull this over and show you this red and blue. She's used these on the same fabric, rather, on all of the... Um, blocks. Here's your anchor and here are the sailboats right here. This is scalloped all the way around. Beautifully done. Nice quilting. It's a nice weight. It's not too thick, not too heavy. The binding is white and lots of pretty colors. Lots of red, white, and blue though if you're looking for that. It's a nice size too. 72 by 72. Great wall hanging size. 1930s and 40s is the date. 399 is the price. The number is 9451 and again the dimensions. It's square. 72 by 72. Here's a pretty shadow box variation. This is from the 1920s and 30s. Again, lots of red, white, and blue, but this is accompanied by other colors, beige and, and uh, purple. Looks like there's some shirting fabric in here, some men's shirt fabric, but this background material is uh, white with a little red print on it. You'll be able to see that. It does look pink from a distance, I know, but lots of pretty colors on this. This is beautifully done, and you're really not able to see the detail on the fabric until you do get up close to it. From a distance, it almost looks like a lot of solids. Um, but everything, almost everything, has a print to it, a very small print. Just beautifully done, nicely quilted. There's another print on the binding, and it's in excellent condition. No fabric wear on this at all. I see a little bleached place or a little lightened place right here. You may be able to see that, but fabric-wise, it's just in excellent condition. $349 is your price. That's a great price on this 20s and 30s quilt, especially in this nice condition. It's square, by the way, 67 by 67. The number on this is 8380, and it's a terrific price at just $349. You know, there are probably hundreds and hundreds, and that's probably an underestimation of um, Dresden plate variations. This is another one, this time as opposed to the pieces of a plate going straight out. They are slightly curved. It looks like one is lapped over the other. So it's a real interesting effect from a distance. Um, it almost looks like one of those wreaths, wreaths that have been tied around. Really pretty colors, lots of red and lots of pink and blue. And the other interesting 
interesting thing is she's taken the same shape from those plates and put them all around the edge of this quilt to make a nice border. The binding is in a light green. But it's really quite pretty. She's done the little extra touches like um, making little uh, dog ears on the corner. As you, not dog ears, that's not the right word, but you know what I mean. The, the, the corners are more pointed than they would normally be. But this is in great condition. I don't see any fabric wear or discoloration on it at all. It's really quite pretty. Lots of floral fabrics and lots of pastels and lots of red, too. $3.99 is your price. 7018 is the number. And the dimension's 81 by 69. This quilt from the 1930s and 40s has lots of springtime green. That's the color I like to call it. It's just beautiful. The pattern is the Ohio Star. And alternating with these Ohio Star blocks in various fabrics, ranging from green and red and burgundy and pink and blue, some plaids and stripes and things, are these beautiful springtime green uh, panels or um, blocks, if you will, and she's quilted an Ohio star in each of those blocks. So you have the pieced star beside the quilted star, and it's really pretty. This is a nice quilt. The colors are still nice and vivid. The binding is white, and it's really in nice condition. The back is nice and white. Lots of pretty colors, plaids, polka dots, reds, and all of these um, nice 30s and 40s fabric. It's in great condition, the Ohio Star. 349 is the price on this. The dimension 76 by 65. 1879 is the number. And again, the price just 349. Thanks so much for watching tonight's show. I'm sure all of you who purchased a quilt or two are going to be so happy with them when you get them home and you see them in person. Now be sure to tune in next week, same time, same channel, for more quilt bargains. See you next week. Bye. My name is Robin Smith, and this evening I'm going to be showing you a wonderful collection of antique quilts. Now, all of the quilts you're going to see tonight are old. There are no reproductions. These were made by American farm women years ago. Now, I know you see the Chinese reproductions at all the department stores, but you won't see them here. These are the real thing, real antiques. And we're located in Wichita, Kansas, the heart of the Midwest. And for years now, we've gone all around the Midwest buying up nice old quilts. Now, over the years, we've purchased most of these quilts from farm families. And they date from the early 1800s to as recent as the 1950s and 60s. And many of the women who made these were real artisans. I mean, these women spent many months, sometimes even years, making some of these quilts. But for many years, this part of our American heritage wasn't properly appreciated. Many of these treasures were destroyed by neglect and abuse. But today, we recognize these old quilts as true folk art. Each is a one-of-a-kind original. Now, antique handmade quilts are tremendously undervalued, especially considering how few have survived in good condition. Now, other forms of American folk art bring many times the cost of a nice quilt. And a quilt is a great investment that you can use and enjoy and look at every day. Now, we know these quilts are also being used as decorator items. Many interior decorators have been buying these from us and reselling them. Now, since it isn't practical for us to come to all of you, we thought the next best thing would be to offer these quilts to you on television. We'll be broadcasting a weekly program at this time, and each week we'll be liquidating over a hundred quilts, and we'll continue until they're all gone. Now, this program is only being aired on satellite. It's only available on satellite. So why not invite your friends over to watch who don't have a satellite dish and who aren't receiving this broadcast? Have a quilt party. And we know you're going to be thrilled with every quilt you buy from us. We'll only be offering you the nicest of the quilts that we've found over the years. We expect a complete sellout this evening. So because we only have one of each quilt, 
we can only accept the first call for each one. Now, don't be too disappointed if you call and someone beats you to the phone. There'll be many more wonderful quilts to come, I promise. Now, I'll be showing you each quilt one at a time, and I'll tell you all about it, including any condition problems it might have. Now, remember, these quilts are all old. So some may show minor wear or have a little something wrong with them, and I'll point these things out to you. But if I accidentally overlook any damage or wear that noticeably detracts from the quilt, of course you may return it. But at these prices, I can tell you, we rarely get any quilts back. When you see a quilt you really love, please call right away. But if you're not sure, let someone who really, really wants it have it. There are many more to come. Now, we've priced these quilts at about half of what you might see them for uh, sold in your area. So be prepared to grab your phone in a hurry. Now, it's hard to believe you can buy a 100-year-old quilt in good condition for less than the cost of having a new one made. But here, you can. We take MasterCard, Visa, and Discover. Sorry, no personal checks. And remember, we only have one of each quilt, so the first caller gets it. So stay tuned. I'll be right back to describe the first quilt for you. Isn't this pretty? The pattern is the morning star. And of course, like all of the star patterns and really all of the quilt patterns in general, they have hundreds and hundreds of names. So this probably has many, many more names. Um, it's from the 30s and 40s. Beautiful colors on this. There's one color that I like to refer to as the circus peanut color. You know that candy that you eat? It's kind of marshmallowy and it's called circus peanuts. That's the color this is. It's kind of a light orange. Here's, here you're looking at a blue and white polka dot fabric with a pastel pink center. And then there's some navy and white on the outside of the corners of these stars. Brown, little bit of red. Really quite pretty. It's all put together nicely. Some of the colors have just washed out a little bit. You're going to see a couple of stars down here toward the bottom and some of these colors have just washed out but it's still so pretty this really has a lot going for it the only fabric where I see is along the binding and it's just beginning to show a little bit of fraying it's certainly not gone by any means this is a nice quilt from the 30s and 40s 299 is the price 9027 is the number and the dimensions are 73 by 59 This star is called the Crystal Star, and it's from the 1930s and 40s. Lots of color, green, um, pink, blue, even some yellow and brown. Lots of floral fabric on this. It's on a white background. This has all been quilted by hand. Now, it's not heavily quilted, so therefore some of the batting has shifted or separated just a little bit. What you're seeing right here is not a discoloration. It's just where you can see the batting has just separated there or shifted a bit. That's what occurs sometimes when they aren't heavily quilted. Here's a look at the star up close. Isn't that pretty? Lots of yellow and red in that one. Purples, turquoises, and also the batting has shifted slightly around the edges. But this is a nice quilt, really a nice weight. It's not heavy and thick, and it's in great shape fabric-wise. 249 is the price. 8388 is the number. The dimensions, 87 by 71. It is the Crystal Star for just 249. This is just the cutest uh, crib quilt or youth quilt, whichever wall hanging. It's the Three Little Pigs, and it's all done in applique and embroidery. I'm telling you, it's just adorable. Wait till you get a view of this. Here's the pig's house over here. Here's the path, and here's the Three Little Pigs. They all have uh, little bags over their shoulder with a stick. One's green and two are red. They're so cute. They have the little curly tails here, and they all have hats on. <laughs> just darling. All of the embroidery, all the all of the embroidery you see is uh, done in green and peach and red. There's the little uh, little pig right there. There are his little uh, feet. And the flowers are red. The binding is also red on this. And then the little pig's house has some red and blue. Lots of embroidery all over this. It's just darling. And it's beautifully quilted as well, not to mention the applique and the embroidery work. Just darling. As you can see, there are like some leaves in each corner. Lots and lots of little flowers. This is in great condition. Um, I really don't have to talk about this too long because you can see how cute it is and believe me it's just as cute in person it's in great condition by the way 2.99 is the price it is from the 20s and 30s the three little pigs 60 by 45 are the dimensions and the number is for 889 
This is a very delicate looking quilt because of all the really beautiful pastel floral prints used in it. Center Diamond is the name of the pattern. It's from the 20s and the 30s, scalloped all the way around, heavily quilted, and really in great condition. There are flowers quilted in this white border area. So pretty, but lots of delicate little prints uh, from the 20s and 30s. Pink, purple, blue, yellow, green, just really pretty. This is in great shape. It is uh, heavily quilted, which is why it's probably in great shape. And the quilting, of course, has all been done by hand very, very nicely. Here's the scallop all the way around. Now, they tell me it's been mended in a couple of places, but it's so busy that I have no idea where that is. I don't have time to look for it, but it has been mended in a couple of places. Uh, it is from the 20s and the 30s. $3.99 is the price. 4386 is the number in the dimensions. It's square, 74 by 74. Wait until you see the quilting on this beautiful quilt from the early 1900s. Oak Leaf and Reel is the name of the pattern, and it's all done in a pastel pink on white. Just beautiful. It's just completely covered with quilting, and it's all done beautifully. Very small stitches. She's quilted big, beautiful wreaths inside here. Let me pull one of these up, and I'll show you. There's part of a wreath, or maybe you're seeing a little bit of it. It's real hard for me to see um, on this white, but believe me when I tell you, it's very heavily quilted and beautifully, beautifully done. The binding is in a deeper pink. Now, some of this pink has washed out just a little bit, and you're going to see some little lightened areas. But because it's so pale to begin with, it really doesn't detract from it, and the quilting just stands out. You're going you're gonna to see that when you get it home. You're really going to be happy with this. $3.99 is the price on this oak leaf and reel from the early 1900s. 8634 is the number, and the dimensions are 78 by 76. Here's a beautiful crocheted coverlet for you. I just love these, and I cannot imagine. I don't crochet myself, so I can't imagine the amount of time it must take to do these and the patience you must have. This is in a beautiful creamy white color, just off-white. It is from the 1950s and 60s, and it's so beautifully done. Of course, it's quite lacy, so whatever color you put uh, behind it is going to show through, and in this case, it's this hunter green sheet, but it's so pretty, nicely done. It's not showing any wear at all and don't be afraid of these if you have not owned one of these crocheted coverlets before because they really are quite sturdy i mean we have them from the 20s and 30s that are still in perfect condition so depending on how well they're made they really are sturdy this is just beautiful no fringe it's um just scalloped in keeping with the form of the the flower all the way around and it's in great shape just beautiful 8028 is the number 199 is the price on this and it's good size 83 by 74 this is a double bed and it comes down to the uh, bottom of this uh, double bed frame so it's quite pretty at wonderful price just 199 what a great quilt I have to show you now. This is pre-1850s, pre-1850s. It is absolutely gorgeous. Green, red, and white. Many times when we find quilts this old, the colors are completely gone or the fabric is gone. In this case, it is showing a little bit of fabric wear, but boy, those colors are still nice and vivid. You can see exactly what this pattern is. And, and I haven't even mentioned the quilting. The quilting is just exceptional. I think you can see a good shot of it right there. There's <clears throat> the fan quilting or rainbow quilting, actually all over this quilt. Some of the appliques are beginning to, to uh, wear away a little bit, but they're going to do that. This is pre-1850, so most of the wear is around the binding. As, as you can see, they're just some loose threads, but you're not going to use this on your bed. You're going to use this as a wall hanging, so it's just beautiful. This is a great one for anybody's collection. Pre-1850s, you just don't find them like this. It's number 2523, by the way. $299 is the price, and the dimensions 70 by 68. What a rare pattern to find these days. You just don't find them. They're so popular. This is the old homestead, and she's used the same fabric throughout, so it's very uniform looking, just beautiful. This is a lot of piecing, a lot of quilting. It's all been done by hand, of course, and when you get up close, it looks like a solid red, really, from a distance, but when you get up close, you see it's a red print with little, actually, it looks like little, um, 
fans made out of hearts, actually. And uh, the white, the background is white, nice piecing, nice quilting. She has that same fabric out on the border, and then it goes out to a white binding. It's just darling. Look at the date on this, 1880s and 90s. This has just really been well taken care of. The binding is white, and um, the back is nice and white. What a gorgeous quilt. This is really a nice collector's item. No fabric wear on this, no storage stains. It's so pretty. Been well taken care of. $6.99 is the price on this 2020 is the number of the quilt and the dimensions 80 by 70. Well, one of you is going to get a great bargain on this double wedding ring. It's just showing a little bit of fabric wear, but looking at it from a distance, you certainly can't see that. In fact, you have to look for the fabric wear even when you get up close to it. Beautiful colors, lots of pale yellows and pastels, blues, pinks. This is a white background. She's done a lot of quilting. All of her quilting has been done by hand. Nice reds and greens and blues. There are several pieces of fabric that are beginning to wear. And, of course, I'm not going to be able to show you one right here. Um, but le here, let me pull this one up. You see this? The red, it's just beginning. You can see the batting through this. It's beginning to wear. And there are several little pieces or panels on this um, um, quilt that are out. But if you're going to fold it, as I always say, if you're going to fold it, put it on a quilt rack, then it's not going to make any difference because you would have to point these out to someone. They would never just walk up and say, gee, there's a panel out because they're not out all the way. They're just beginning to show a little bit of wear. Scalloped all the way around. The binding is in a pale, pale yellow. Look at the price on this. Just $1.99. That's a super price for a double wedding ring in this condition. There's a little bit of fabric wear, but not that much. 86 by 70 um, are the dimensions again. 2941 is the number and the price just $1.99. If you're looking for one of the larger crocheted pieces and you, maybe you've missed out on some of them, here's another one, 80 by 76. I want to give you those dimensions right up front in case you are looking. This is a beautiful crocheted piece from the 1940s and 50s. It's all done by hand. Now, I'm wearing white, so this is kind of a cream color, kind of a buttercream color, if you will. Beautiful workmanship on this. Look at all of these. Look at It looks like tumbling blocks from one angle, and then you look at it. When you get up close here, it looks like maybe a star flower. Lots and lots of dimensions mention to this. Great big popcorn stitches. It's very heavy weight. Uh, lots of weight to this. Not a lot of thickness, but it's just so tightly crocheted that it gives it quite a bit of weight. It's fringed on three sides, by the way. The uh, bottom and sides and and the top is uh, left without the fringe, so you can pull it up. Really quite pretty. This is in great shape. Lots of work on this. Just an unbelievable amount of work. And if you crochet, you probably know that. From the 1940s and 50s, $249 is the price. That's a great price for this. Again, the dimensions 80 by 76. The price just $249. This is really a nice uh, drunkard's path if you love the pattern. It's all done in red, white, and black. What a spectacular um, quilt this is in great condition. She's done fan quilting throughout. The fabric itself is in super condition, as are the colors. None of the colors have lost their intensity. There are a few storage spots on this, and you're going to find a couple of larger ones on the back. They do not, however, come through to the front. What a beautiful piece. This is red with a little tiny black print. This is white with black dots, and then this is a white with even smaller black dots. Just beautifully done. The binding on this is kind of in a royal blue, if you will. Look at the quilting. You can see all of her fan quilting on the back here. Isn't that spectacular? And of course, it's all been done by hand. Now, you are going to find a few discolorations on the back. They don't happen to be uh, right here, but the front is just in great condition. Just a couple of small uh, discolorations on the front, which, again, you have to get up close and look for them, um, actively look for them. They don't just kind of jump out at you. This is a beautiful quilt from around the turn of the century. The price? Five ninety nine. Eight five nine nine is the number and the dimensions eighty by sixty eight. Here's a very simple little nine block. This is from the 30s and 40s, and there's not a lot of quilting on this, and it's not, um, actually, it does not have batting or a blanket in it. It just has the two pieces of fabric, so it's a nice lightweight coverlet, but lots of red, lots of pink. Her blocks are done with the same uh, fruit fabric, as a matter of fact, in the center, and then a white background, and these are pink. But as you can see, it's not really heavily quilted, but the fabric has stayed in pretty good condition, a little bit of, of wear here and there, but you can see it's priced um, accordingly. It's been mended in a couple of small places. There, here's one on the back right here, but 
Look at the price, just $149. This again might be a great one uh, for those of you who make the Santa Clauses or the crafts or the uh, uh, baskets and teddy bears and such. 6816 is the number and the dimensions 80 by 68. This bow tie is from the 1940s and 50s, and you're going to find a lot of fabulous old uh, 1940s and 50s fabric on here. This background is kind of a turquoise. Now, the main problem with this is the batting has shifted slightly underneath. Fabric-wise, it's in pretty good shape, but the batting has just uh, shifted. It's just balled up where there isn't a lot, particularly around the edges, not so much in the center, but around the edges. I want to show you one of these pieces of fabric. This is great. It's 1950s fabric. Look at this. At first, I thought these were little spacemen, and I thought, whoa, wait a minute, but they're little deep-sea divers. There's a little cartoon deep, like deep sea divers. This happens to be orange, and there's some down there in green, and some up here at the top in that same orange. Really, some neat fabric. I always love to look at the different types of fabric on these uh, on these quilts. Sometimes it's very interesting. So fabric-wise, this is in pretty good shape. Um, the batting has just shifted. 149 is the price from the 40s and 50s. 9365 is the number, and the dimension 64 by 62. This is just a beautiful quilt from around the turn of the century, 1880s and 90s. It's all red, white, and blue. Eight-point stars, navy, white print. This white print behind has little black, um, little black print on it. It's just exquisite. Everything about this quilt is in great condition. Uh, maybe the blue has washed out just ever so slightly, but boy, that red is just as nice and vivid. So pretty. And I want to show you there's even another fabric on the back. There's a blue with white polka dots on the back. Back. Isn't that pretty? This is great. No wear on the binding on this at all. It's been well taken care of. This would make a spectacular wall hanging because it's not, um, has a little bit of, it's, um, oh, how can I explain this? Has a little bit of stiffness, stiffness to it. In other words, it's not a real limp quilt, so it's going to hang, if you want to use it for a wall hanging, it's going to hang on your wall really nicely. 1880s and 90s, 699 is the price, 9996 is the number and the dimensions, 70 by 63. It's all red, white, and blue. Here's a pretty double wedding ring. This has a lot of the darker colors in it, so it really makes these rings stand out from a distance. It has a lot of purple, some black, some blue, some navy, and uh, it really gives it a different appearance. A lot of times we see these with the pastels, and this instead has a lot of the darker colors. Really pretty. Look how round her rings are. Lots of quilting in here. Now, what you're looking at right here, it's not discolored. That's just the batting has shifted underneath. It's just separated a little bit. There, I'm putting my hand underneath it so you can see. So all throughout this quilt, really, the fabric is in excellent condition. The batting has just shifted. As a matter of fact, I think you can see that on the back right here. Just places where the batting just pulls apart over the years. <clears throat> the binding is red, and it's in nice condition. A lot of people don't care that the batting has, uh, uh, has shifted, you know, particularly if you're going to put it on top of the bed. It really doesn't matter. Or put it on a quilt rack. But there's a lot of green, lots of dark colors in this. You really like it. It's quite pretty. 349 is your price. That's a good price for a double wedding ring. 9557 is the number and the dimension 72 by 71. Here's a double nine patch. This is from the 20s and 30s. Now this has a few problems. The batting, where you see she's quilted beautiful flowers in the center of each of these blocks, but where it's not quilted, the batting has shifted and balled up under there considerably. The colors are still nice, though. It's a pale, uh, pale pink on the background. Some of that has washed out, but look at this alone. I've seen these blocks cut out and framed. That alone is worth the price you're going to see. It's really quite pretty, but the batting has shifted, and there's a little bit of fabric wear on, um, on this here and there. A couple of, um, I want to show you the back of this, a couple of bleach spots on the back. Not on the front, but just on the back. So you're really going to get your money's worth out of this, whether you use it, uh, whether you use it or use it for some of your crafts. See, $99. Good price on this. 72 by 63 are the dimensions. The number on this is 9819. 
if you like the southwestern colors and have a, a bit of the um, American Indian prints, perhaps this would really go nicely for you. It is 1950s and 60s. Cottage tulips is the pattern, but it's all done in orange and yellow and white. But the print on these is very southwest looking. You'll be able to see that when we get a little closer. It's in great shape, by the way. It is one of our newer quilts, but it's still in great shape. In fact, you can still see the pencil marks where she has uh, quilted. Let me show you this fabric and you'll see what I mean. It's very southwestern looking, very southwest. Isn't that pretty? Um, it's in great shape too. Not a lot of wear on this at all. It's nicely quilted. It's all been done by hand. Just really pretty. Lots of greens and oranges and yellows. As a matter of fact, it really doesn't appear that it's had any wear at all. Um, all of her pencil marks are still visible on there. $1.99 is the price. Hey, that's a great price for this quilt because it doesn't have any fabric wear. It just happens to be one of our newer quilts. 2804 is the number. The dimensions 84 by 66. Here's a nice quilt from around, again, around the turn of the century, late 1800s. Can you imagine? It's done in a deep indigo or navy blue and white. Just beautiful. The pattern is a Rocky Road to California variation. It's so pretty, all done by hand. The colors have stayed so nice. This blue is just as blue as it can be. Really pretty. She's used a couple of different little prints, but they are both on that indigo blue background. Here you can see it just a little bit better. Isn't that pretty? Really, really nicely done. The binding on this is yellow, by the way, and again, it's all been done by hand. The batting is shifted just ever so slightly in this, but nothing um, that amounts to much, really, because the, the uh, quilt itself is really quite um, thin, and or not thin, but it's quite lightweight. It's not real heavy. I'll get it right in a minute. But it's a beautiful quilt. No fabric wear on this, except for a couple of small little places right over here on the side where there's just showing a little tiny bit of wear, but believe me, you're going to have to really search for that. $2.99 is your price. Um, 6402 is the number and the dimensions 80 by 66. If you're looking for oranges and reds, lots of nice bright colors, take a look at this nine patch from the 1950s and 60s. Boy, is it bright. And if this orange is not coming across, it's just eye popping on your set. Believe me, it is here in the studio. Nice, bright, true orange. Lots of green, red, yellow. There's some lime green on this, even some brown. Now, it's not heavily quilted. Um, what quilting there is, though, has all been done by hand. It's a little bit primitive, but boy, the fabric is still nice and vivid on this. And if you're just looking for a nice quilt to throw around uh, to keep the chill off, perhaps if you're out by the ocean, this would be great. The back is white, and it's in good shape fabric-wise. It's just not really heavily quilted, and it's one of, our, one of our newer quilts from the 1950s and 60s. $49 is the price. 2963 is the number, and the dimension 78 by 54. Here's a quilt from the 1950s and 60s. Do you remember when all of your appliances were either avocado green or harvest gold? Well, <laughs> this is harvest gold. That's exactly the color. It's a nice bright gold, white background. Now, this is not heavily quilted. Uh, this, again, is a little bit primitive, and it uh, appears to have um, a blanket in the center as opposed to binding, but there's still a lot of nice colors on it, some greens and golds. But you can see here it's just not really heavily quilted in what there is. It's just a little bit primitive, but fabric wise it's in good shape. The colors are still nice and bright. It's just one of our newer quilts. No wear on the binding on this either. And by the way, they call this pattern around the world. $49 is the price. 1270 is the number and the dimensions 84 by 71. If you're trying to sneak a little bit of green into your home here and there and you're a big fan of cross stitch, take a look at this quilt. It's just gorgeous. It's from the 1930s and 40s. Everything you see on here is all done in cross stitch. And it's a beautiful deep green. It's just a little lighter than the hunter green uh, sheet that we have on this bed. So it's just beautiful. And it's all green and white. No other colors. Lots and lots of work on this. Let me pull one of these over so you can really see. Look at the cross stitch. They're really tiny flowers and leaves. And She's done a lot of quilting as well. 
but the uh, cross stitch goes all the way around the border. Look at this vine, the vines and the flowers and the leaves go all the way around the border. It's very, very heavily quilted. This is just a beautiful piece. It's been mended in one small place, um, but I can't find that, so you'll have to look for that if you really want to see where it's been mended. They tell me it's been mended in one place. Great condition from the 1930s and 40s. $2.99 is the price. 88 by 77 are the dimensions, so it's really nice size. As a matter of fact, it could serve as a bedspread for a double bed like this because it got, does come down to the bottom of the frame. 6314 again is the number. The price, just $2.99. This is a pretty quilt. It's from the 1880s and 90s. The pattern is called Crosses and Losses. You knew that. It's done in that double pink and white. Now, much of this has um, lost its intensity. The colors have just washed out a little bit. And there is some fabric wear on this. This is not in perfect condition, but what a great old quilt. Nice pattern. It's all quilted by hand. Tiny little stitches. And I'm not able to show you over here any, well, let me show you just a little piece. See this little piece right here? It's just beginning, the fabric is just beginning to show some wear. And you'll find that throughout on this quilt, particularly in an area right up here. But um, again, as I always say, if you're going to, if you're going to fold this and put it on a quilt rack, it's not going to show. You're going to have to point these out to people if you so desire. Otherwise, you can just keep it to yourself. But it's still a nice quilt, very old and in good condition for its age. The binding is really in good shape. Just a little little bit of wear. $1.99 is the price. Crosses and losses is the pattern. Again, 3385 is the number and the dimensions are 68 by 67. Where there's a lot of fabric on this bow tie from the 1930s and 40s, red, black, blue, uh, lots and lots of red. As a matter of fact, red is probably the predominant color on this red and blue. There's even some brown. Now, this is showing quite a bit of fabric wear, actually. You're going to see a lot of places. And, of course, I don't have one over here close. Well, here's one right here you can see, but that's a seam. But this is showing quite a bit of fabric wear. Not so much along the binding, but the fabric itself is just beginning to soften. We would refer to this as being soft. It's from the 1930s and 40s. $149 is the price. The pattern is a bow tie. 8454 is the number and the dimension 77 by 61. Boy, this is a rare find. A lot of times when we find uh, quilts like this from the 1870s and 80s, much of the color is gone. As a matter of fact, much of the fabric is gone. This Carolina Lily, on the other hand, is in great condition. It's so pretty. Now, there is fabric wear on it, and I'll show that to you, but I want you to look at the colors, and I want you to look at this beautiful ribbon that cascades all the way around four sides, and it's so heavily quilted. Look at that. It's just extraordinary. Wait till you see this. Now, as you can see, the red Red and the gold are really in good condition, but the green is beginning to show some wear. I want to pull this over and show it to you. See how this is worn? The green has just worn before the rest of this is. You're going to find a little bit of fabric wear sometimes on the, on the red and the gold, but, but hardly any at all. Most all of it is on the green. It's just gorgeous. The binding is done in a red print. It's so heavily quilted. That's why the fabric has stayed in such good shape. The fabric... Um, on the quilt itself has stayed in such good shape because it's so heavily quilted it doesn't have room to deteriorate. Just absolutely beautiful. There is fabric wear. 1870s and 80s, $4.99 is the price, 5731 is the number, and the dimensions are 77 by 68. You know, of course, that all of our quilts are one of a kind, but I'm telling you, this is really one of a kind. I wish I had the time to detail this quilt for you. You can see it's magnificent, but I don't think you can see quite how magnificent it is. Um, it's obviously a flower basket applique with butterflies. All of these are pansies, and they're double pansies. They're done in purples and yellows and pinks and blues and reds and rusts and golds. This is all done by hand. Look at the quilting on this. I just can't even, I can't begin to tell you how much work there is on this. I'll pull one of these over. This is all great big feather stitches all around this green border. This is a beautiful true green, by the way. But look at the work on these pansies. Each one has been quilted around. And as I said, they're double. Here's blue with purple, yellow with a deep purple, uh, pink and rust. It's just exquisite. These butterflies, the bodies are done in embroidery. Um, someone tells me it's a satin stitch embroidery. That's the butterfly's bodies. The wings are very symmetrical, the little antenna. These flowers go all the way around the border of this. Plus, it has the folded diamond border all the way around. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to see on the screen, I know. But here is the... Um, 
Let me bring it up on the white. And the spectacular thing about this, I haven't even begun to tell you, it's dated on the back. I should have pulled this up while it was close. But right here in yellow, it says an embroidery made in 1943 by Mother Long. So I just, I wish I had, uh, you know, five or ten minutes to really go into detail on this quilt. But believe me when I tell you, it's in perfect condition and it's just spectacular. That's, uh, that's the first word that comes to my mind. From the 1930s and the 40s, $12.99 is the price. You'll never see another one like this. Beautiful quilting, beautiful applique and embroidery work. 6855 is the number and the dimensions 84 by 79. Here's a pretty pastel quilt from the 1920s and 30s. Center Diamond is the name of this pattern. Now, this is showing quite a bit of fabric wear, and I'll show you that when you get up close. Most of it's on the binding, however, but there are several of these small little panels that are beginning to wear or have worn through. This is white, lots of pastel yellow on this here. You see some red and green and blue, but uh, it is showing fabric wear. Let me show you the binding on this. Now, this is the way it is all the way around. That's frayed. So when I talk about a frayed binding, you can see exactly what I mean. The binding is just frayed along the ends, but there are many panels in here that have worn through, but it's still a pretty quilt. As I always say, if you're gonna fold it, put it on a quilt rack, but there are several panels out on this. It is from the 20s and the 30s. 149 is your price. 3824 is the number and the dimension 74 by 73. Here's a trip around the world with some unusual colors that we don't often see. Purple, navy, brown, yellow, rust, gray. So there's an interesting color combination here, and then it goes on out to a white border. Now, this has been quilted diagonally. It's all been done by hand, and the stitches are not real small, but it is nicely quilted. Um, so the fabric has not had a chance really to wear. Some of the colors have just washed out a little bit. The batting has shifted ever so slightly underneath here. And when I say shifted, I mean it's just separated a little bit between these lines of batting. And there's a little bit of wear on the binding on this. But you'll see the price reflects that $199. It is from the 30s and the 40s. $16.96 is the number and the dimensions 68 by 58. This nine block is from the 1930s and 40s, and boys, there are a lot of uh, little 30s and 40s uh, print fabric everywhere, everything from red, green, blue, yellow, uh, even some pastels, some purple in this, really wild. Uh, here's some stripes, a little print, little floral print fabric. The colors are still nice and bright. This is not heavily quilted, but each piece has been uh, quilted through three times in a and a crisscross in the center. The binding is yet in another piece of floral fabric, so it really gives it just an all-over uh, lacy effect because it's all floral. This is a nice quilt, though, nowhere on the binding, and I don't see any fabric wear on the, on the interior of the quilt itself either. It's really in nice condition. $249 is the price. Lots and lots of uh, interesting fabric on this. You'll like it. 2512 is the number and the dimension 78 by 63. This honeycomb quilt from the 1930s and 40s has some great fabric on it, too. She's done all the quilting and fan quilting. I like it when they do that for some reason. It just, uh, just gives it a pretty appearance. This has a brown, almost a denim-looking fabric on the back. I'm sure it isn't, but it appears to be nice and soft on the back. Pretty colors on this, though. Turquoise, blue, purple, um, red. There's even uh, a little yellow print up here with a collie dog on it. Who knows? Maybe it's Lassie. <laughs> now, this has been... Uh, um, mended in one place there's a patch and I don't see where it is right now it's probably right in front of my nose but there's a oh here it is right down here there's a patch right down here and it has been mended in a couple of places but this is still a great old quilt from the 30s and 40s 199 is your price the dimensions 64 by 56 so it's one of the smaller ones remember this is a double bed 62 6262 is the number of the price just 199 If you like the two-color quilts, here's one for you. It's kind of in a mustard gold and white. This is from the 1920s and 30s. Lots of piecing on this, and then she has repeated the pieces in quilting, so it uh, has a real um, symmetrical look to it. Now, there are some bleach spots on this and fabric wear. The majority of the fabric wear, however, is at the top on the back, but there are places where this has been bleached out, where there are bleach spots, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to find one of those. There's Some of them are, are fairly slight. Now, of course, oh, here, right over here, there's some bleach spots right over here, if you're able to see those. 
Um, but m the majority of the fabric wear, like I say, is on the back, but there is a little bit of fabric wear on the front of this. It is from the 20s and the 30s. You'll see the price is right, just 149. 4512 is the number, and the dimensions on this 68 by 59. There are lots of nice bright colors from the 50s and 60s on this quilt. The pattern is called Star of Many Points. And you're going to find red, green, blue, some moss green, some turquoise. And she has um, stuffed the binding with batting so that it's really kind of puffy. It's a wide border on here, wide uh, binding. Now, the only problem with this is there's some color bleeding. All of it is on the back, however, but I want to show this to you. It almost looks like it's been tied. I want to show this to you because um, if you get it home and you say, I didn't show you, and I just happened to see this, there is color bleeding on the back. The front is beautiful. Look at that nice, bright, vivid red. Here's a plaid, turquoises, and yellow. So the color bleeding is not on the front, but it has bled through on the back. I think it's this... Um, this turquoise blue right down here, as you can see, there's the color bleeding on the back. But if you don't mind um, the color bleeding on the back, then this is a great quilt because the colors are nice and vivid. It is from the 1950s and 60s. The price, just $1.99. Fabric-wise, it's in good shape. 80 by 65 are the dimensions. The number is 6104. This quilt is from the 1930s and 40s. Lots of red, yellow, blue, green. Really pretty, and as you can see, she's used all of her colors in rows. Here's the red row. Here's the kind of the red, white, and blue row. Then there's yellow, a plaid down here, and some browns and greens. Really quite pretty. This is nice. It has an off-white background. All of the pieces have been quilted around, so she's done a lot of quilting and a lot of piecing on this. The binding is in the same off-white. Isn't that pretty? Lots of stripes and prints on this. The back is quite nice, too. You can see all of her quilting on the back. It's kind of an off-white color, and there you see all of her quilting by hand. Really in great shape. This is a nice little quilt. It is small, 72 by 60, and uh, this is a double bed, so it just comes over the edges of this double bed on the sides. It is from the 30s and 40s. $2.99 is your price. $10.17 is the number, and the dimensions, again, 72 by 60. Here's a Dresden plate. This is from the 1950s and 60s. However, a lot of the fabric you'll find on these plates are from, is rather, from the 30s and 40s. Several shades of blue on here. This is a nice bright sky blue, and then this is more toward the Wedgwood or the Colonial blue. White background. Now, this is not heavily quilted, but it has stayed in pretty good shape. A couple of these panels are showing just a little bit of wear. It has all been quilted by hand. The back is done in a light blue. And there are a few little uh, places on here that have faded, a few little discolorations, uh, little bleached out places, but it's still a nice looking quilt. And it's really huge also, 97 by 90. So this comes well down. This would fit a queen bed, a queen bed perhaps. This comes well down below this, this double bed um, uh, frame. 249 is the price, 7669 is the number. And the dimensions again, 97 by 90. If I had to pick one of the star quilts I've shown you today, this would be my pick. It's just exquisite. It is a broken star from the 1920s and 30s. Lots of pastels, as a matter of fact. It begins in the center with pink, goes out to a lighter pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, a golden yellow, and then out to pink. This is an off-white, uh, heavily quilted. There's a wreath in the center of each of these that she's quilted by hand. But look how exact her pieces are. Beautifully pieced, beautifully put together here. Let me show you some of the pinks over here. I, wanna, I want you to get a good idea of all of these colors. Look how exact that is. Isn't that pretty? Her corners meet just beautiful. And then she's quilted really heavily all the way around this broken star. There are wreaths here. The binding is pink. And it's just gorgeous. This is my pick. It is exceptional. Nice light weight. Not a lot of thickness or weight to this Broken Star. It is from the 20s and the 30s. And look at that price, just $3.99. 74 by 73 um, are the dimensions. The number is 4215. Of course, it's one of a kind, as they all are. The price, just $3.99. There's a nice bright hourglass 
quilt, the pattern, that is. This is from the 1940s and 50s. Brilliant colors on this from black, olive green, red, blue, pink, uh, burgundy, brown, just about any color you could imagine. Now, it's not heavily quilted, but each piece has been quilted through, and it has all been done by hand. But the colors are just really pretty. It really gives a nice appearance from a distance, don't you think? The uh, binding is done in purple. Here, I'll show you that. It's just a plain, simple binding. The back, you can see all of her quilting in fact, her double quilting in some areas on the back. Now, the batting has shifted just slightly under some of these places where, they're, where it is not heavily quilted, but it's not lumpy by any means, so it lays nice and flat on the bed, and it would, it would lay nice and flat on your wall as well if you want to use it as a wall hanging. $249 is the price. It is from the 40s and 50s. The dimensions 82 by 67. This is quilt number 5681. This is an interesting Dresden plate. This is from the 1920s and 30s. This is very heavily quilted. So if you're looking for the uh, quilt with a lot of quilting, and it's all done by hand, of course, then this would be a nice choice for you. The background is a, a pale yellow. And then on her plates, she's used really mostly all blue, different shades of blue with different prints. This one has some red and black in it. And then this is that kind of old federal blue. There's some periwinkle blue, some sky blue, all different colors of blue, but look how heavily quilted it is. The center of each of these plates is really heavily quilted. The binding is in a deeper yellow, but look at the back of this. This is another of those that you could almost use it on the reverse side because it's so beautifully finished and quilted on the back. I have no idea how they do that. I wish I knew. It's just beautiful. They must snip all those little threads off and uh, and trim them down. $2.99 is the price. 3884 is the number. The dimensions on this 74 by 57. It's the Dresden plate. I have a quick bargain priced quilt for you. Now, usually when you see these grandmother's flower garden, if they're in any condition at all, and I'm sure you've seen them in your area in some of the antique shops, if you see them at all, they're usually several hundred dollars. Well, here's one that because it has some fabric damage, you're going to see the price has been lowered considerably. It's just an amazing price. It is a grandmother's flower garden, white background, by the way. It's not heavily quilted as we see on some, but it's still pretty, and you can't tell that uh, it has not been heavily quilted from a distance. Here's some green, but I want to show you much of this has begun to deteriorate. There is some fabric wear on this. See the binding has gone right here. You can see the batting. And there are several places on this where the batting has just, or rather where the uh, fabric has just worn through. Here's one place where the piece has gone. And the batting has shifted on this, particularly up here at the top. But there is fabric wear. The batting has shifted. The colors are still nice and bright. And the fabric itself for the most part, is in great condition. This would make a nice craft quilt for you. And look at this, just $99 for Grandmother's Flower Garden. Really, that is a good price. $35.79 is the number, the dimension 73 by 59. There's a very colorful trip around the world from the 1920s and 30s. There's a lot of red, white, and blue on this, also some yellow and green. You're really going to like the prints on this. And this is interesting because ordinarily we see um, her start out with the blocks in the center and they work out. Well, she started with very, very small blocks in the center, teeny tiny little blocks, worked her way out. Then she has put strips here of the red, white, and blue fabric, and then she goes on out to the larger blocks. And let me show you how that continues continues off. See the difference in the sizes? And then these continue out all the way to the border, which is a blue, which is a colonial blue. Really pretty. There's some neat um, great old 30s fabric on this. Lots of red prints. It, it all has been quilted by hand, by the way. On the back, you can see all of the quilting. Small discoloration, a couple of small discolorations on the back. They are not on the front of this quilt. Just beautiful, many thousands of pieces. $4.99 is your price. 1920s and 30s. 8234 is the number and the dimension 76 by 70. What a wonderful old quilt this is. If you like the darker colors, this is from around the turn of the century, around 1900 to the 1920s. Just beautiful. This is all made out of wool, by the way, and the wools range in color from a deep indigo blue to black, navy, kind of an olive peach, and there's even some striped fabric in here. It's just great. Now, I want to show you, I hardly ever... Uh, fine patches to show you that are worth <laughs> worth mentioning, but I want to show you these because they're not really patched. They're kind of woven in here. Here's one right here. Now, you see how she's woven that in? That's 
like an original patch. There are two or three of those. Um, and that doesn't go through to the back, by the way. That's only on the top. So I thought that was a little interesting. Lots and lots of embroidery stitches, different embroidery stitches connecting all of these pieces. It almost looks like stained glass from a distance, doesn't it? Beautiful emerald green on this, too. And uh, lots of colors of embroidery thread, reds, oranges, yellows. It has some soft flannel, striped flannel on the back. A couple of small discolorations on the back. Those do not come through to the front, but it's all wool. If you're wanting to stay warm, this is the quilt for you. 349 is the price. 74 by 56 are the dimensions, and the number is 1474. If you like the old quilts with the feed sack and flower sack fabric, take a look at this one because it has a lot of it. This is a great big patchwork, and it's been yarn tied with pink yarn. Really pretty. Now, this has some uh, soft flannel, striped flannel on the back. I'll show that to you in a moment. Lots of brown and yellow and blue and green, even some red. Isn't that pretty? This is from the 30s and 40s, and, and you may very well recognize some of this old uh, feed sack, flower sack fabric. Here, take a look at the back. Really a pretty stripe on the back. And then you can see just the tiny little places where this has been yarn tied. It's hard to see the yarn ties on the front because they're kind of small, but there are a lot of them. So this has stayed in great condition. The binding, by the way, is in a red check. Really pretty. This is a nice old, this just looks like an old firm quilt, an old grandmother's quilt. And look at the price, just $49. And really, there's no fabric wear to speak of on this at all. 6836 is the number of the dimensions 83 by 69. If you like polka dots and you like the navy and green together, which is really a great color combination, take a look at this nine block from the 19, uh, early 1900s, actually, 1910 to about the 1920s. Lots and lots of polka dots and stripes on this. There's something about, I think that's why I like it so much, because I'm crazy about polka dots, but also it's just uh, the combination of fabric is really pretty. Lots and lots of polka dots. Now, of course, you're not looking at, there's the, the polka dot you're looking at right there, but... There are uh, some checks and some polka dots. This background fabric, by the way, is a black and white print. And then the binding is the same fabric as the back, which is a little pink and green and blue print. Really pretty. I like this quilt for some reason. This is just nice. It's not very thick. It's a, a nice weight to it. So it's really in great shape, too. 349 is the price on this nine block. 4896 is the number. And the dimension 72 by 65. I do love these friendship quilts, and this is a nice one from the 1920s and 30s. Lots of beautiful colors from purple, orange, green, lavender, yellow, bright red, pink. It's just beautiful. It's been nicely quilted and pieced. And then each person has signed their name and embroidered over it right here. This one says, Elma Lee Nix. I don't know if you can read that. Here, let me bring another one up for you. This one says Mr. and Mrs. Steve uh, Sullivan. <laughs> trying to read these sideways. But it's so pretty. This is a royal blue in between the blocks, yellow in the blocks connecting the blue. The binding is in that same royal blue, nice white back. This is just beautiful and it's in great shape. Lots and lots of names on here. Here's Esty up here, Esty Brashear, um, Mrs. Minda Phillips. Interesting names. You just don't hear these names anymore. I just love them. Three forty-nine is the price. This is in great shape from the 1920s and 30s. Four one four zero is the number in the dimension 68 by 56. I've been able to show you lots of pretty double wedding rings. Here's another one. The blocks are done in the various fabric, which always gives it a lacy appearance, I think. This is a white background, lots of red, blue, navy, about any color you could imagine, really, on these pieces. Everything's very symmetrical. This has all been done by hand, by the way, and she's done a great job. Look how heavily quilted this is, which is why this has stayed in such good shape. It's scalloped all the way around. The binding is in a nice, bright yellow. And it's from the 1920s and 30s. Let me turn this over so you can really see the amount. Look at the back of this. Isn't that pretty? You can really see the amount of quilting on this. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice. I love these that are finished so nicely on the back that you could really flip them over, over and use them on the other side. $3.49 is the price on this. That's a great price for a double wedding ring, especially in this condition because it's in good shape. 75 by 65 are the dimensions. 7416 is the number. And again, it's a good price for a double wedding ring, just $3.49.
Now here's an old patchwork that you may want to use for some of your crafts. It is showing quite a bit of wear and, um, uh, and the batting has shifted somewhat. Now it's from the 20s and 30s, lots of red on this and some of that has, has washed out over the years. The back is really kind of an Oxford looking uh, fabric, almost a denim, but you can see she's done the fan quilting all the way around here. Let me pull this down so you can see. But it's just, it's showing some wear here. That's a little piece of <laughs> lint. But here there are some discolorations right in here you can see and much of the batting has just shifted underneath but you can see it's priced right just 149 uh, for this quilt 2196 is the number the dimensions on this 72 by 62 and again the price just 149 This is a very, very old quilt. The pattern is called Rolling Star, so you know how, how long some of these patterns have been around to use. This is from the 1860s and 70s, green, red, gold on white. Now, the amount of quilting on this is just incredible. As I always like to say, it was before cable, so they had lots and lots of time. They also had very small, little, tiny needles. Now, if you'll notice, the red is beginning to wear off. The gold is really in pretty good shape, as is the green, but the red is beginning to wear, and what you're seeing there is the batting underneath. It doesn't go all the way through, of course, just just through the top. There are a few discolorations on this. It has been mended, but this is just a really a spectacular piece, especially from this early, um, or this uh, late, this long, however, 1860s and 70s. 249 is the price. 74 by 57 are the dimensions, and the number is 8467. Now, if you're looking strictly for warmth, this is the quilt for you because it's all made out of wool. And is it warm? Would it be warm, rather? It's from the 20s and 30s. There's some interesting wool on here. Um, everything from rusts, browns, blacks. By the way, if you're seeing little bits of lint on here, that is not... Uh, that's not anything to worry about. It's just that when, when uh, the, in fact, there's, uh, that's just a little bit of thread. But uh, lots of pretty colors on this. Now, there are a few places where it appears to be like maybe a couple of small moth holes, but the majority of this is in great shape. Beautiful colors on this. The reverse side is so pretty. It's a green, pink, and white flannel blanket. So you've got warmth on the bottom, warmth on the top. And if you really need to stay warm, this is the quilt for you. It's from the 20s and 30s, $99 is the price. 3472 is the number and the dimensions 75 by 69. Here's a grandmother's flower garden for you to look at from the 1920s and 30s. Now, she's grouped all of her flowers. As you can see, she starts in the center with red and pink. And by the way, the center of each of these flowers is in a pale yellow. Then she goes to the lavenders and then the blue, peach, lavender, and green. Really pretty. And she's chosen the floral fabric to accompany the solid fabric in the center. Here's the purple print with the purple, the blue with the blue, and so on. It's really pretty. Now, the binding on this is scalloped and zigzagged all the way around, and that has frayed. Um, the binding is frayed all the way around. If you're gonna fold it, use it on a quilt rack, of course, that doesn't matter. If you wanna wish to replace that binding, you certainly may. Personally, um, a lot of people don't mind the frayed bindings. That's, that's the least of their worries on this. This has many thousands of pieces and they're all quilted around, so that's really the important thing. By the way, I just pulled this crooked on the, on the bed. It's not really crooked. 299 is the price. 2780 is the number for this grandmother's flower garden and the dimensions, it's nice size, 90 by 67. Here's a pretty pattern. I've grown fond of this particular pattern because I love these little uh, little hummingbird or Job's, um, Job's Troubles blocks. Actually, this is a snowball. Beautiful colors on this. This is really an off-white. There's orange, red, yellow, blue, purple, just about any color you could imagine. And then look, as the camera comes in closer, you can really see those snowballs stand um, stand out. This is scalloped all the way around. The binding is green and she's quilted around. Each piece of the fabric has really stayed in nice condition on this. It's kind of nice and fluffy. Now actually, I think there is a blanket in the center of this. Uh, what you're seeing right here on the back is not a discoloration. That's the stripes on the blanket. So uh, you're not going to have the batting shifting in this because it's a blanket underneath. 20s and 30s, 249 is the price. 5444 is the number and the dimension 77 by 64 on the snowball. 
You know, there's something about the yarn tied quilts that appeals to me, and I don't know what it is. It may be just me, you may be just um, making fun of me there at home, but I just like them. I think they look like old farm quilts. My grandma used to have uh, yarn tied quilts. I just like them. This is a nine patch, lots of nice bright colors red, yellow, green, blue, even some lavender on this. There's just a wide variety of of fabric from the 20s and 30s and it's so pretty. There's a blanket in between here so it has just a little bit of thickness to it. Aren't you tempted to look between here and see what kind of blanket it is? I'm always wondering if there's maybe like a really old valuable blanket in between here but here's the reverse side. You can see she's done her yarn ties in green and red and yellow so it's just it's real pretty and I know it's hard to see those yarn ties but uh, this is in great shape. No fabric wear on this. And it's a great quilt. Where do you see the price on this? I'm telling you, whoever gets this, when you get it home, you're going to be happy. $49 is the price on this. 6140 is the number in the dimension 76 by 65. I have a darling little grandmother's flower garden to show you now, and I said darling little because these flowers are just one row of petals as opposed to two, so it, it makes the flowers appear to be very small, which they are. The center of each one is yellow, and all of these pieces have been quilted around. These pieces are quite small, so they're going to be several thousand pieces on this quilt. It's just beautiful. Lots of pretty floral fabrics. I don't, uh, I don't know that she's used any solid fabrics on here, except in the center. They all appear to have um, floral fabric on the, on the uh, um, leaves or the petals around the flowers. It's scalloped all the way around, zigzagged and scalloped as I like to call it. The binding is pink. This is just a real pretty, nice, lightweight, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, clean, crisp looking grandmother's flower garden. I like this a lot. 1930s and 40s is the uh, date. $3.99 is the price. 4772 is the number and the dimension 78 by 64. If you like the purples and the blues and the reds, take a look at this hummingbird from the 1940s and 50s. Lots and lots of uh, purples and blacks and even some uh, beige and red and burgundy on here. Some interesting fabric from the 1950s. There's one piece in particular. It almost looks like a watercolor. You'll be interested in that. There it is right there. Lots of purples and greens and blues. Now this is showing some wear. Um, some, of the, some of the colors have washed out a little bit and there is some fabric wear along the binding on this, but you'll see the price reflects that. It all has been quilted by hand, by the way. Batting shifted just a little bit. The price, just 149. Um, 1913 is the number, and the dimensions on this are 70 by 58. This is such a pretty star quilt. It's from the 1930s and 40s. And if you look at it from a distance, it appears to be watercolored and one color blends into another. It's really quite pretty. Uh, beautiful sunshine yellows, pale yellows, oranges, peach. It's just really pretty, along with red, blue, some off-white yellow. Each piece has been quilted around, by the way. There you're getting a real good look at the pattern up close. Isn't that pretty? And I want to show you the back of this because it is so heavily quilted. I want, I want you to see. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the quilting on that. Just beautiful. A lot of people like to look at the back of these because they can really see the, um, the quilting without the colors distracting them. And you know what? This must have belonged to the Robinsons because there's only one piece of embroidery on this. It's right up here in this yellow star and it says in black Robinson. R-O-B-I-N-S-O-N. -O -O so if your name happens to be Robinson, here's your quilt. It's from the 1930s and 40s. $2.99 is the price. 9279 is the number and the dimensions are 74 by 60. Hi, I have some exciting news for you quilters out there. And back here in Kansas, we have a whole warehouse full of old antique quilt tops. Now, some of these are 50 to 100 years old. We've taken the very best of these and put them in a two-hour video for you. Now, for those of you perhaps unfamiliar with what a quilt top is, these are just the tops of the quilts. They've never been finished. They've not been um, quilted. And we know a lot of you, they've not been quilted at all. We know a lot of you like to finish these off, put the back 
back on them, the binding, and quilt them and make beautiful quilts out of them. So, in this two-hour video, you're going to see the very best of these old antique quilt tops, and they are beautifully described. They uh, come with a book. As a matter of fact, I will describe them to you on camera and show them to you. You get a good close-up view, but a book comes with it to give you the dimensions and such. So, all you have to do is take the video, pop it into your VCR, and watch it at your leisure. It's a wonderful way to order these old quilts. And the video is only $5.99. That includes express delivery. So why not call the 800 number right now and get your antique quilt top video? Hi. For those of you who may have just tuned in, we're liquidating a collection of antique quilts. Now, some of these have been in storage well over 50 years, and they're all one of a kind. There are no reproductions. Now, if you see a quilt you really like, you need to call right away because all of these quilts really do sell quickly, and we can only sell each quilt to the first caller. Now, if you see a quilt that you're not sure of, why not let somebody else have it who really loves it? I try hard to mention everything I see in regard to condition problems they have, but if I miss something small, give me a break. These are antique quilts, and some have some minor wear or some small spots, and those are to be expected. But if I fail to mention something that really seriously detracts from the beauty of a quilt, the beauty and value of a quilt, of course you may return it. Now, we'll continue these programs each week at this same time until all of the quilts are gone. So be sure to watch us each week. Very few people can receive this broadcast, so why not invite your friends over each week to watch have quilt parties? Now back to the quilts. There's a nice pretty nine patch or nine block from the 1920s and 30s. Lots of uh, turquoise and green on white. As a matter of fact, she's used the same checked fabric throughout on this, so it's really pretty. From a distance, it looks like blue, but then when you get up close, you're going to see that uh, turquoise blue or azure blue in there combined with the green. Pure snow white background. This has all been quilted by hand. Beautifully done. The back is uh, really nice and white. Here there's the back. Like I say, a lot of people like to look at the back of these and sometimes I forget to show them to you. It's not because I mean to. It's just because there's so much on the front to talk about. This is in great shape, by the way. No fabric wear, no discolorations. 249 is your price. 9708 is the number and the dimension 71 by 63. Now here's a nice big grandmother's flower garden, <clears throat> excuse me, flower garden for you. This is showing a little bit of wear. Some of the colors have washed out on this. It's just not in as good a shape as some of them we see, but boy, would it make a great craft quilt for you. The binding is done in red and purple. Actually, there are purple along the sides and red on the top. But as you can see, some of these colors have just washed out. Here's a pink that's washed out. but. Uh, Further, here's a piece that's just completely out. See, that's just gone. That's not through to the back. It's just, it's a white piece and it's gone from the top. If you want to replace that, that would be great. It would be easy to replace that white. But it's heavily quilted, all quilted by hand, just showing some fabric wear and some fading. Uh, but it, like I say, for crafts, it's absolutely perfect, especially at this price, just $99. 73 by 69 are, are the dimensions, so it's almost square. 9810 is the number and a terrific price. Just $99. Here's a grandmother's flower garden from the 1930s and 40s. Now this is a little bit smaller than some we've seen. In fact, let me give you the dimensions right up front, 67 by 58. So if you're purchasing these for uh, wall hangings, this would be a great size. Now fabric-wise, this is in excellent condition. It's just that there are bleach spots on this. Some of the colors have washed out and you're able to see this blue. See the bleach spots right here? And that's the case particularly on the back of this when we get out a little farther here. Let me pull this up and I'll show you. This is just bleach. See the bleach spots around here? And that's really the only thing wrong with this quilt. A couple of small little places where a seam has come undone. But the major problem with this is the bleach spots. And of course this is on the back, but uh, uh, fabric-wise it's in great shape. So if you're going to use it for a, a wall hanging, it's going to be fine. But there are bleach spots on this. 249 is the price for the grandmother's flower garden. 9342 is the number and the dimensions on this again, 67 by 58. This is such a popular pattern. This 
particular quilt, rather, comes just from the 20s and 30s. Of course, it's the Sunbonnet Sioux or Sunbonnet Baby, some prefer. Lots of uh, navy and red and white on this. And, of course, each of the little Sunbonnet Sioux has on a different color outfit from red, brown, blue, green. Uh, there's some yellow up here. Really pretty. There's a lot of work on this. She's done all of this by hand, as you can see, around the hats and around the little dresses. This is a white background. This is navy and red. Now, some of this navy has washed out just a little bit. Some of the colors have, but fabric-wise, this really is in great condition. A couple of small discolorations on this. I saw one right underneath here. There are a few little discolorations over here, but this is in nice condition fabric-wise. It's a nice size, 76 by 67, and uh, you're really going to enjoy it. It's a nice quilt from the 20s and 30s. 349 is the price, 6609 is the number and again the dimension 76 by 67. Now, for those of you who love the Indiana puzzles, take a close look at this. What probably began as an Indiana puzzle or a monkey wrench turned into something completely original. This is uh, we call our original puzzle <laughs> because all of the pieces just don't go together to make the, the normal monkey wrench or Indiana puzzle that we see. It's very unique. You'll not see another one like this. Um, it's all red and white. This is from around the turn of the century, actually early 1900s, all done in a deep ruby red and white. It's all been done by hand. She's quilted around each piece. Up here, let me show you the back. You can see all of her all of her quilting on there. Isn't it beautiful? And she's finished off the back so beautifully. Um, I just think perhaps she either intended, intended to do something completely original or she just kind of got off of her Indiana puzzle uh, pattern. $9.99 is the price on this. It's in perfect condition. Not a, not a blemish, not a, a discoloration, no fabric wear. It's just perfect. And you can rest assured that no one will ever have one like this. It's very unique. 1956 is the number. The dimensions on this 86 by 78. It is original. It's in perfect condition from 1900 around the turn of the century. And the price is $9.99. I'm sure whoever quilted this back in the 20s and 30s had no idea that in the 1990s sunflowers would be so popular, and they really are. Here's a sunflower quilt. This is gorgeous. Green, yellow, and brown are the only three colors on this. Lots of attention to detail. She's put a nice little border around. Now, someone at some time or another in the last... Um, how many years, 70, 80 years, has touched up some of these sunflowers with, uh, I don't know, like fabric dye or perhaps fabric paint. And you kind of have to look for them. There's one right here, and maybe it was just bleached out or something. There's one right here that's been touched up, one here and one down at the bottom. But otherwise, this quilt is in great condition fabric-wise. There's no fabric damage at all, and uh, it's just beautiful. This is a nice sunflower quilt. Need I tell you how popular sunflowers are? They're on everything anymore. From the 20s and the 30s, 249 is your price. 2306 is the number and the dimensions on this 86 by 79. Here's a beautiful grandmother's flower garden from the 1920s and 30s. Thousands of pieces on this, and she has quilted around each one. And this is one of the classic because it has the path, these tiny little diamond-shaped pieces around each of the flowers. It's just gorgeous. And really, that's the only minor flaw on this, is that the green has washed out. So it's now a blue-green color, and this is kind of a beige. I don't know what color. She's put that at... at um, at the uh, intersection of each of these little paths, and that's now a light beige. I don't know what color that was originally, but most of the other colors are nice and bright. The center of each flower is in a light orange, and wait till you see the binding on this. She's done it by hand all the way around with some heavy thread. It's just unbelievable. Must have taken her forever. This is in great condition. What a beautiful grandmother's flower garden. Again, many thousands of pieces. The only thing is the green. Some of the green has just washed out a little bit. Fabric-wise, it's perfect. $349 is your price. 3493 is the number on this. And the dimensions 86 by 70. 
I have a gorgeous quilt to show you now from around the turn of the century. This is so pretty. It's the uh, Drunkard's Path, of course, in red, white, and blue. The only blue on this is the binding, but it's that old 1800s navy or indigo with the little tiny white circles on it. I'll show you when the camera gets a close-up. This is just beautiful. She's quilted around each piece. This red has really stayed in great condition. Very, very little of the color has been lost. Here, let me show you this binding while it's over close here. Isn't that pretty? And the binding on this is in great condition, by the way. Um, it's just gorgeous. Very little, if any, fabric wear on this. I saw one little spot over here by me that's just worn a little bit, but boy, this is in great condition for its age. Really nice. Wouldn't this make a great wall hanging? $3.99 is your price. 6717 is the number, and the dimensions on this 72 by 58. Here's a giant uh, grandmother's flower garden from the 1940s and 50s. We all decided she must have used miracle Grow because these flowers are really huge. Some interesting old 40s and 50s fabric. Now, the fabric on this is in great condition. She's quilted around each piece. As a matter of fact, she's quilted through each piece three times, so it's really held that fabric together well. The only problem with this, or it's not a problem, it's a minor flaw, there are some bleach spots on the back. The back is kind of a... A turquoise blue and uh, I don't see the bleach spots on the front but the bleach spots are on the back and I'll show that to you here they are and those are only on the back they do not come through to the front so fabric wise it's in great shape there are just some bleach spots on the back of this but look at the price just $1.99 that's a good price it reflects the uh, minor flaw 8831 is the number the dimensions 67 by 60 on the grandmother's flower garden Now, from a distance, you really don't get the impression that this is a double wedding ring, and that's exactly what it is. Many times, the double wedding rings take on such different looks because of the way they use the fabric and the coloration. Now, in this instance, she has filled in the areas between the rings, which is what gives it the different look. It doesn't really look like a double wedding ring from a distance. She's filled that in with blue fabric. The background is pink. As you can see, she's done a lot of quilting on this. It's all been done by hand. The blocks are done in kind of a peach and then some coordinating print fabric. The reverse side is a light pink. You really get a good idea of the amount of quilting on this, on this reverse side, when you don't have the color to distract you. So it's very heavily quilted. That's why the fabric has stayed in such good condition. It's just a very different double wedding ring. The binding is in good shape on this as well. It's from the 1930s and 40s, $249 is your price, 8712 is the number on this, and the dimensions are 79 by 58. Now, I know you're not able to see this from a distance. This is a Lone Star, but much of the color has faded off of, or faded out of this, rather. This is one that you're going to want to use, perhaps, for some of your uh, better crafts because the batting has uh, lumped up or balled up in this, and I'll show you that when you get up close. But it is a Lone Star, lots of uh, yellow, lots of red. Actually, the white and the yellow and the red and the pink and blue are still there, but the other colors have all washed out. But let me show you what I mean by the lumpy batting you can just see it's just balled up under there where there isn't a lot of of quilting so this is uh, one that you're going to want to use for some of your better crafts um, fabric wise it's in good shape the color's just gone and the batting has has uh, separated and shifted 149 is your price 3067 is the number on this and the dimension 75 by 60. This is such a pretty quilt. It's very comfy feeling, too. There's flannel on the back. I'll show that to you in just a moment. This is from the 20s and 30s. It's an enhanced nine block. Lots of red, as you can see. In fact, this background fabric is really older than the 1920s. It's late 1800s fabric, around the turn of the century, actually. It's red with a little black print on it. There's a lot of purple, pink, navy, green. See, there's the... Um, 1800s, late 1800s fabric we're looking at. Really nice. And then let me show you the back of this. It has a, a green striped flannel. It's so soft and comfy. This is the flannel back. It's really in great shape. This is heavily quilted. She's done it all by hand, so the fabric has stayed in great shape. And I want you to look at the black up here. Even this black has really stayed nice and vivid. Um, the colors have not washed out at all on this. This is a nice quilt. Maybe a little bit of wear along the binding at the top. Very slight, very slight. $2.99 is the price. 6766 is the number and the dimensions on this 73 by 60. 
Here's a big bow tie from the 1920s and 30s. Lots of blue on this, some beige and brown, and uh, little bits of yellow here and there. Fabric-wise, this is in great condition. She's quilted around each piece, so the quilting has really held it together nicely. The batting hasn't shifted. The, some of the colors have just washed out a little bit over the years. That They've lost their intensity. That's really the only thing wrong with this. Fabric-wise, it's in good shape. Of course, it's all been done by hand. Here you're looking at some that are still vivid. You can still see the blues and the reds and the yellows in there, but they've just washed out a little bit, as they sometimes do over the years. Otherwise, it's in great condition. I don't even see any fabric wear on the binding on this, so it's really in good shape. Look at the price, just $1.99 on this. That's super. The dimension 75 by 59. This is number 1951, and again, it's a bow tie. The price, just $1.99. I have a darling little sunbonnet baby to show you now. So pretty, lots of red. This is from the 1920s and 30s, and each of the little uh, babies has on a different outfit, lots of prints and solids, ranging from uh, peaches and pinks, blues, yellows, even some black on this. I think you can see how heavily quilted this is. She's quilted in white, by the way, and it's all been done by hand, but this is a nice, comfy feeling quilt. It has a little bit of thickness to it, and therefore you can really see the quilting stand out on this. The uh, batting has shifted just slightly under this over the years, but the colors have stayed really nice. Now, she's used a couple of different colors of red. It's a deeper ruby red on, on the uh, horizontal stripes and then just a little bit lighter red on the vertical stripes but they're very intense it hasn't lost any of its color it's in great condition fabric wise also 249 is your price 7877 is the number and the dimensions 69 by 60. Here's a very interesting nine block variation with lots of red. It's so pretty. This is from the 1930s and 40s. This quilt is in great condition. Of course, it's all been quilted by hand. And again, it has just a slight bit of thickness to it. So it really shows the quilting. Isn't that pretty? Lots of red, green, navy, even some burgundy in this, some uh, rust color, blue. Some of this navy has the little white stars on it. Here's a polka dot that you're looking at there. Really nicely done. In fact, look, you can see all of her quilting, or the amount of quilting, rather, on the back. The binding is in great shape on this. I don't see any fabric wear. I don't see any discolorations. It's really quite a nice quilt from the 30s and 40s. Look at the price, just $249. I would have expected this to be higher than that. It's really a, in great shape. 9004 is the number. The dimension 76 by 63. What a unique color combination on this beautiful double wedding ring from the 1920s and 30s. Very unusual. The background is a mint green, a pastel green, really pretty. The blocks are done in purple and almost kind of a mauve uh, color. Beautiful colors on the pieces. Look how deeply this is quilted. Isn't that pretty? Now, this has been mended in a couple of places, showing just a slight bit of fabric wear around the binding. The binding is not frayed by any means, but every once in a while, you'll just see a little spot that's just beginning to show a little bit of wear. The back is that same pretty green, that same mint green. This is really a pretty quilt and in good condition. It has been mended in one place, and there are a couple of little, uh, couple of little areas. $2.99 is the price. 7346 is the number and the dimensions on this, it's almost square, 76 by 75. Isn't this a pretty grandmother's flower garden? <clears throat> Many thousands of pieces, of course. Lots of pastels in this yellow, blue, lilac, pink, um, some red, orange, <clears throat> just beautiful. She has put the solid fabric on the inside of the flowers. The center of each one is white, by the way. And then she goes out to a coordinating print fabric. Really pretty. Here you're looking at the solid blue and the print that goes with that. And then over here is the pink print and the pink solid really pretty. She's also put a nice border around this by having the flowers or, or continuing the pattern out to the edge of the quilt. So that's really nice. This is in good shape. I don't see any fabric wear, no discolorations. It's really nicely quilted and a nice weight. It's not real thick or heavy. $2.99 is your price on this grandmother's flower garden. 8335 is the number. Lots of pretty colors and they really haven't lost their intensity. They're really nice and vivid. 75 by 58 are the dimensions and again the price just $2.99. 
Here's a nice grandmother's flower garden from the 20s and 30s. Now she has put the green around each of the flowers. It's not the path, but she's surrounded each flowers, each flower rather with the green. Lots of pretty prints in this. The center of each of these flowers is yellow. Then she goes to a solid ranging from <clears throat> blues to pinks, mauves, uh, lilacs, oranges, really pretty. And then the coordinating print, very pretty. This green has, has uh, faded just a little bit, washed out just a little bit, but it's still very vivid. It's pretty. This is scalloped all the way around and she's quilted around each piece. It's really a nice grandmother's flower garden in great condition. Look at this around the edges. Isn't that pretty? The reverse side is white. It's nice and white, and you can see how much quilting there is. And the batting has shifted just ever so slightly under this. No, it really hasn't either. I'm seeing, I'm seeing one of the flowers. I was going to tell you the batting has shifted, but it really hasn't. It's in great shape, and even the binding is in good shape on this. There are no, uh, <clears throat> no fraying at all. $3.99 is the price. 8797 is the number, and this is a good size also. If you're looking for one of the larger ones, this comes clear down past the frame of this double bed we have it on it's 88 by 83 so it's a nice grandmother's flower garden big the price just 3.99 Well, there's a lot of great old 1950s fabric on this, actually some 40s and 50s. And this uh, quilt happens to be dated. As you can see, it's just a, like a scrap patch, uh, patchwork, if you will. 1956. Now, this is one of our newer quilts, but it is all cotton. There's no polyester in this. Just a wide variety of fabrics. Lots of polka dots, some checks, stripes. There you're looking at... Um, the green and white polka dot, the navy and white check, and there's a red and white stripe down here, and then lots of floral fabrics. It's really pretty. Uh, she's done her quilting in kind of a blue-green. You can see all of that on the back. It has a nice clean back. She's put a, a, a protector on it, sewn just a protector over the top here, and it's over the quilt. So you could re replace that or remove that, rather, if you like. Otherwise, this is in great condition. It's all been done by hand. It is dated 1956. $99 is the price. 1874 is the number and the dimension 78 by 72. We really don't see very many of this pattern. It's called Steps to the Altar, and the reason is it's probably so many pieces. This has many thousands of pieces, and uh, it's just beautifully done. It's from the 1930s and 40s fabric-wise. It is just in excellent condition. There's a minor flaw in this quilt, and that is that some of the green has just bleached out. You'll see in the different dye lots just there. You can see a good example of that. They've just come out a different color, bleached out a different color over the years, and the black has just faded a little bit. Not bled, but just washed out a little bit. That's the only thing wrong with this quilt. Look at the uh, size of these pieces. Very, very small, like postage stamp size pieces. The binding is in great shape. All of the colors are nice. Some of the green and black has just washed out a little bit, and there are some that are different colors. It's very heavily quilted, very heavily quilted, all by hand. That's why the fabric has stayed in such good shape. This is from the 30s and the 40s. $3.99 is the price. One eight seven six is the number. It has a nice clean back, and the uh, dimension 72 by 68. If you need to uh, liven up a room with some color, take a look at this quilt from the 1950s and 60s. It's just beautiful. The pattern is the aster. Very bright colors combined with olives and mustard golds and uh, beiges. Lots of yellow, lots of red. The center of each of these is a pale yellow on a pure white background. But the quilting on this is what really makes it pretty. There are double hearts quilted. And I don't know if you're able to see, there's a tulip right here. And then there is a heart here, and then between each of the plates in this area, let's see, in this area right up here, there is a double heart here and a double heart here. So there's lots and lots of quilting on this, nicely quilted and pieced. The uh, binding is nice and bright, and the reverse side, in fact, you can see all of her quilting on the reverse side here, the double hearts right here. Really pretty, nice and bright. It has lost no color, certainly, and there's no fabric wear at all. $249 is your price. 96 by 81 are the dimensions on this aster, and it's number 2631. This 
is one of those patterns that's really grown on me. I've really become fond of this. It's called Job's Trouble. Sometimes you see it called a snowball, depending on the coloration of the little pieces. But this is in great shape. It's real pretty from the 30s and 40s. Lots of reds, even some polka dots. Now, some of these colors have washed out just a little bit, lost just a little bit of their intensity. When I say washed out, I don't want you to think that they're gone. They're not. They've just lost a little bit of intensity. She's quilted a flower inside each of these areas between these four little blocks. It's um, scalloped, slightly scalloped all the way around. The binding is done in a very pale yellow, and the reverse side is yellow as well. Isn't that pretty? You can really see the amount of quilting on this from the reverse side. This is quite a nice quilt. I like it. It's in great condition. From the 30s and the 40s, $249 is your price. 6803 is your number. It's all been done by hand, of course. The dimensions 82 by 66. Wouldn't this make a great wall hanging for you? Now, you're really going to be surprised at the price on this. It is showing some considerable fabric wear on the back. The front, however, boy, it's great. This has all been machine quilted, but look at all of these little tiny pieces. It's just beautiful. The pattern, of course, is the New York Beauty, and instead of red, white, and blue, as we see it done uh, most of the time, this is done in pink and burgundy and white. But look how small these pieces are, and I don't mind that. That's just um, lint from something else. Sometimes these quilts get, uh, get together and just <laughs> we see a little lint. But look at these small little pieces, just, just really nicely done. Now, the back of this, and of course I'm not, I don't have a piece over here that I can show you, but believe me when I tell you there's considerable wear on the back. The front is in great shape, it's just the back. This all has been machine done. Now there is some wear up here at the top and a little discoloration, but where do you see the price on this? This is from the 30s and 40s. $49 on this New York Beauty. You can ha hang it up on the wall or on your quilt rack and nobody would ever know it's damaged on the back. $11.89 is the number that I mentioned, 71 by 70. Are your tulips in bloom yet? Well, if not, you can have them on this beautiful quilt from the 1930s and 40s. The pattern is called Four Tulips, and all of these tulips are in various prints and solids on an off-white background. The borders are done in pink, and then the blocks here, really unique color combination. Very small little pieces, purple and green. I don't know, there you can see it, along with the pink. This has all been quilted by hand. Let me pull one of these tulips over so you can really get a close Look at some of this old 30s and 40s fabric. Really nice. Now, a couple of these solid colors have just faded a little bit over the years, just washed out a little bit. Here's one right here. It's a pale uh, peach, and there's some pink over here that's just, it's lost a little bit of its intensity. But this is such a nice quilt. It has a little bit of thickness to it, so it's very heavily quilted, nice and comfy feeling, and uh, it's in great condition. I don't see any fabric wear on this at all. $2.99 is your price. 8835 is the number and the dimensions. 75 by 58. We all like this quilt in the studio. Hope you do too. It's so pretty. It's from the 1920s and 30s, and it's an embroidered nine block or nine patch. And here you can see all of the nine patches and nine blocks in red. Actually, there's a lot of red, white, and blue in here, but what's really unique about this is between each of these, there's a beautiful little um, three flower embroidered. Here you're seeing right here, there's two of the flowers right here. Sometimes they're two and sometimes they're three. Here, let me pull this one up so you can see. Isn't that pretty? Lots and lots of embroidery embroidery work, little uh, morning glories and pansies and some four o'clocks, and it's all done in pink and green and lavender and yellow. And also, she has put a border all the way around this in a kind of a turquoise uh, green and brown print. So it really kind of sets it off. This is nice. Some of these colors have just washed out over the years, but it's still a very appealing looking quilt. It just looks like an old farm quilt. 249 is the price. 8007 is the number in the dimension 67 by 76. They're telling us green is supposed to be a very popular color this year, and if you're looking to pick up a little bit of green in a room, take a look at this beautiful quilt from the 1930s and 40s. The pattern is the Rolling Star, and there's a lot of green. It's a beautiful, true, uh, true grass green. Yellow, uh, royal blue, red, vivid pink. Isn't that pretty? Uh, the pattern is Rolling Star, and this is in great condition. Lots of quilting. She's quilted around each piece. Beautiful colors. In fact, here, let me show you the back while the camera's up close and you can see <clears throat> all of her quilting. Isn't that pretty? Very nicely finished off on the back. 
just a great quilt. Certainly no loss of color here. It's beautiful. No fabric wear either. This is in great condition. $2.99 is the price on this Rolling Star. 7365 is the number and the dimensions 76 by 64. Here's a beautiful eight-point star from around the turn of the century, actually. Now, you're not able to see all of the star because every other point is done in white. But this is all done in pink and white. It's beautiful. It's a nice, vivid pink. It's, uh, it's still a pastel pink, but it has a little uh, brightness to it. Really pretty. Each piece has been quilted around on this. Of course, it's all been done by hand. Let me bring one of these stars over, <clears throat> and I'll show you so you can see the points. It's hard to see the white on the white. There you can see the whole star. Here are the other points alternating with those pink um, pieces. The, the binding is white on this. The back is nice and white. This is just really a nice quilt. Look at all the quilting. You can really see the amount of it on the back. In great condition, no fabric wear. I don't see any discolorations on this at all. It's just in great shape. I think this would make a pretty wall hanging also. $2.99 is your price. The dimensions on this, by the way, 84 by 69. And this is number 2113. You know how popular the uh, celestial themes are now? Everything with sun and moon and stars on it. Well, here's your quilt. This is a beautiful sun with stars, a blue background, lots of uh, uh, light brown, actually light chocolate brown and mint green. Just beautiful. Lots of piecing on this. And when you get up close, you'll be able to see there is a star quilted within the uh, sun right here. Really pretty. Here, let me bring this over so you can see. I know you're not able to see some of the uh, colors on there's your star isn't it pretty some of these colors have washed out just a little bit the brown has washed out a little bit but fabric wise this is in great shape and this blue and white check has really stayed nice and uh, the colors stayed nice and true the uh, batting has shifted on this just a little bit around the edges but it doesn't detract from the quilt at all there is a little bit of wear along the binding on this but it's just so pretty and especially with the popularity of uh, the sun moon and stars these days 199 is your price 9615 is the number and the dimensions on this 86 by 62. Isn't this vivid? And really, I'm looking at it on my monitor here, and it's not nearly as pretty on this monitor as it is right here. I'm hoping when the camera gets a close-up, you'll be able, to be able to see rather. This is a pineapple pattern. This is from the 1920s and 30s, and this is done in purple and green and yellow. If it's looking blue on your set, it is not blue. This is very, very purple. This is actually a light purple in here and a dark purple over here. But if it's looking blue, it's not. It's lavender. The yellow is nice and bright. The green is nice. This is just beautiful. Uh, many, many hundreds of pieces, and I'm probably um, um, underestimating it. There are probably thousands of pieces on this. Lots of work. Look at the back on this. Look how she's finished it off. Nice little purple with white flower uh, print on the back. This is just beautiful. What a pretty quilt, um, especially for a guest bedroom or maybe for a wall hanging. $3.99 is the price. It's in great shape. 74 by 60 are the dimensions on this pineapple and 9229 is the number. If you're looking for just the right pastel color for perhaps a guest bedroom, take a look at this gorgeous trip around the world from the 20s and 30s. All of the pastels are in here, beginning with lilac in the center, and then pink, green, yellow, blue, orange, um, um, out to peach. In fact, the reverse side is a beautiful peach color. Each of her solid pieces, like the pink here, then has two rows of accompanying um, print, just beautiful or complementary print, I should say. And then it goes out to the green prints and the green solid, the yellow prints, the yellow solids, and so on. It's just gorgeous. Let me show you the reverse side of this. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the quilting on this. It's really gorgeous. Very nicely finished off on the back. If you needed this beautiful peach, you could really almost use this uh, as a reversible piece because it is so pretty and finished off on the back. Just gorgeous. Lots and lots. Lots, many, many hundreds of pieces. $3.99 is the price on this. It's in great condition. 3363 is the number and the dimensions 78 by 62. There's a large variety of uh, 1940s and 50s fabric on this 
touching star pattern quilt. It's just beautiful. Bright, vivid, nice pink, a deep pink on the background of this. And then each of the stars are made up of black, yellow. Um, there's actually, there's a lot of black in here and it's really maintained its color well. A lot of times we see the black just kind of, um, um, you know, lose all of its color, but it's really stayed nice. In fact, there's some, let me show you this little print down here. Isn't that pretty? This has the little rosebuds of the same color pink because there's lots of yellow. There's some stripes and uh, there's even a piece of, of uh, flannel right down here. I'll, actually, it's almost like a scrap patch star, but all of the pieces are symmetrical. She's done the fan quilting all around. This is in great shape. I see one little spot, one little discoloration right here. Fabric-wise, though, it's in great condition. Even the binding is in good condition on this. $249 is your price on this Touching Star. 3487 is the number, and the dimensions 72 by 62. Isn't this pretty? Now, I'm very safe in saying many thousands of pieces on this. It's a grandmother's pride from the 1920s and 30s. Now, this has all been treadle quilted, and it's very, very heavily quilted, and that's why the fabric has stayed in such good shape. But what's interesting is to see the designs and imagine the work. I, I uh, can remember my grandma's old treadle machine, but I cannot imagine going over and over and over something like this and trying to get these straight. Now, as you can see, they're not all the same, which, which of course tells us that it is a treadle machine. Some of the stitches are small, some of them are large, but it is very heavily quilted and that's why it's stayed in such good condition. The colors are nice and bright. The only minor flaw in this, in fact, look at the back, look how much, how much much quilting there is on this the bad or the binding rather has frayed at the top and the bottom that is really the only thing wrong with this um, interior the interior of this quilt is in excellent condition it's because it's very heavily quilted it's just gorgeous lots of red white and blue as you can see 299 is the price 3222 is the number on this grandmother's pride and the dimensions 80 by 67 is a nice uh, double wedding ring, pure white background, lots of light pastels on this one, just a little touch of red here and there. Now, this has been uh, treadle quilted, it's very heavily quilted, so it's really stayed in good condition. Now this top is a 1930s and 40s top, it was quilted at a later date, so you're going to find the binding in the back is a little bit newer than the front, but it's really in great shape, no loss of color here, certainly no fabric wear, it's scalloped all the way around with a beautiful uh, pastel yellow binding. In fact, it just matches these pieces here. You'll see the back is nice and white. And again, it has been uh, machine quilted. Just beautiful. It's scalloped, as I say, all the way around. Really nice. If you're needing some of that uh, just very faint pastel yellow, you'll really like this double wedding ring because it's in great condition. $1.99 is the price on this double wedding ring. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen one that low uh, without any fabric damage. 8343 is the number and the dimensions on this 80 by 69. Here's a pretty old quilt. Those of you who have been with us before know I call this my California pattern. It's the Ocean Waves Pat. You're probably laughing at me at home. Uh, this is uh, early 1900s, around 1900 to 1910. Beautiful, beautiful piecing on this. Now the green is washed out a little bit, but the red is still very intense. It's so pretty. Look at these tiny little pieces. It's all been quilted by hand. You can see the amount of quilting here. Really in nice condition. There are a couple of small places on the back where it's beginning to show some wear. Uh, the back is a different, kind of a different uh, fabric than the front, but boy, this is in great shape. The batting has, has separated just slightly. Fabric-wise, though, this is in great condition. I think this would be such a pretty um, spread. I, I think of a of a uh, summer home or, or a house on the beach when I see these. They're just really pretty. $3.99 is the price on this Ocean Waves. $60.71 is the number and the dimensions 79 by 61. 
Isn't this pretty? There's a lot of color in this 1940s and 50s daisy quilt. The center of each one is yellow and white check. Now, some of them are a larger check, and some of them are a teeny tiny little check. And then we see a little yellow and white striped over here as well. So there are three different fabrics she's used for the center of these. Lots of checks, though. She liked gingham and checks. She had a lot of that in here. Black and white, red and white, yellow and white, blue and white. Really pretty. Some green as well. Now, what's interesting is the way she has shaped this on the four corners. It's scalloped around both sides, straight across the top and the bottom. But then I'll show you how she's really finished off the sides of this really nicely. See, it's scalloped along both sides. And then along the top and bottom, it's straight. But see how interesting? Isn't that funny? How inter It's not funny, but it's just nice the way she's finished it off with... Uh, she didn't want the scallops at the top, so you can pull it up and down. There's a slight discoloration right down here toward the bottom, and that's the only thing I see wrong with this quilt. It's really in nice condition, real pretty. 1940s and 50s is the date. 299 is the price. 9389 is the number and the dimensions. 74 by 64. This is such an unusual uh, print for a drunkard's path. A lot of times we see them in the solid fabrics, most often red and or blue. But this is so pretty, it's a very delicate little white print with purple flowers or with lilac flowers. And yet the pattern is the drunkard's path. It's on a white background. This is beautifully quilted, by the way, and beautifully pieced. You can see how exact her... Um, her pieces are exact her piecing is and then she's quilted in a diamond pattern all throughout this quilt or all on this quilt it's just gorgeous by the way the binding is in the same little print so it's very uh pretty very nice looking and very um it's symmetrical, everything. There's a lot of attention to detail on this, and it's in great condition, by the way. 1920s and 30s, $2.99 is the price. 9771 is the number of the dimensions, 73 by 68. This is such a nice double Irish chain. It's from around the turn of the century, early 1900s, actually. And it's done in almost an apricot color and white. Now, there's a little bit of bleaching on this, but most of these have, um, have washed out, if you will, the same color. I think they said there were a couple of small bleached out areas, but those are hard. Oh, here they are. I just found them. Here you go. There's a couple of little. Sometimes they put this on the card, and I can't uh, see it. There are a couple of little bleach spots right there over on the side. Sometimes I don't find them and, <laughs> and I wonder, um, wonder if they're on there. This is really in great condition, very heavily quilted. It's all been done by hand and it's just a really pretty Irish chain. The binding, by the way, is the same color. There's nowhere on the binding at all that I see. $1.99 is the price. That's a great price for this double Irish chain. These are very popular. 9716 is the number and the dimensions 79 by 68. This is a very pretty quilt, very pleasant looking. Lots of pastels, lots of navy, pink, yellow, blue. It's from the 1930s and 40s, and there's something about it. It has a very different appearance um, from a distance in the way the camera sees it than the way it looks on the bed. It's just beautiful. Really, lots of checks and floral patterns. It's a nine block variation, lots and lots of piecing on this. Here you're looking at a little nine block. It's hard to find the nine blocks because of the fabric. Um, it's just really difficult to point those out. Here's another nine block. In fact, here's nine block, nine block, nine block, nine block. There you can see them. Really pretty. This is very appealing. It has a little bit of thickness to it, so it's a real comfy feeling, nicely, deeply quilted. It has some real soft uh, striped flannel on the back. It's in great condition fabric-wise and color-wise. Many hundreds of pieces on this. The pieces are very small. Lots of work on this. It may not look like it, but there's a lot of work on this quilt. $2.99 is the price. It is from the 30s and the 40s. 9752 is the number and the dimensions 79 by 64. I have a real quick bargain price quilt for you, and this really is a bargain because there's not that much fabric damage on it, and the colors are nice and bright. There's a lot of plaid on here, as you can see, lots of red, yellow, and blue, and then some little print fabrics. This is from the 1930s and 40s. Let me, when the camera gets up close, you'll be able to see exactly where the damage is on this. There's a hole right here, one right here, and there are a couple in the yellow piece beside it, and really, that's the extent of the damage on this. There are two holes right here in the yellow 
and then two holes right here in this yellow. The rest of these really appear to be in great condition. It's just kind of a big mishmash of fabric that she had um, that she had in her sewing basket that she put all together. But those are the only places, those two yellow blocks are the only places where it's showing fabric wear. Even the binding is in good shape on this. So you're going to get a good deal on this, $49, because it's not ratty. It's, there's not a lot of fabric wear on this at all. 9883 is the number. It's a great price, just $49. The dimensions 76 by 62. Here's a pretty grandmother's flower garden. Now, this is one of the flower gardens where she groups all of her flowers uh, in, in colorations, in colorways, in circles. Really pretty. She starts in the center with the pink and then moves out to the purple and the lilac and then the blue and then the oranges and yellows. It's really pretty. This is on a white background. Each piece has been quilted around. It's very, very symmetrical. The, the stitches are quite tiny. It's just beautifully done. Nice colors on this and nice quilting thousands of pieces. This is scalloped all the way around, by the way, in great condition. This goes out to green, by the way. It starts with pink, lavender, uh, blue, gold, and yellow, and then green. Isn't that pretty? And then she has bordered it with the little half flowers all the way around, but it is straight across the top and the bottom, by the way, and um, zigzagged on both sides. It's zigzagged or scalloped, if you will. It's in good shape. 1920s and 30s, $2.99 is your price. 85 by 76 are the dimensions on this flower garden, and it is number 9817. This is a great looking little four patch. It um, is from the early 1900s and it's all done in red, white, and blue as you can see. There are a couple of things interesting about this. Number one, it's been quilted with an old treadle machine. Um, she's used white with red polka dots for the alternating blocks between the red and blue ones. And some of the blue fabric she's used, she's used a, a variety of blue fabric. Some has just little squiggles on it and some has a little print. But look at this. Now this particular quilt came from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And look, look at the design on this, um, on this blue. Those are wheat, little, um, little stalks of wheat. So that appears all over the quilt. So if you live in Iowa or, or uh, uh, somewhere here in the Midwest and you like the wheat designs, you have it right here on this red, white, and blue quilt. It's really in good condition. Some of the blue has washed out just slightly and the batting has um, has separated just a little bit in the back, but this is such a nice quilt, interesting fabric on this, you're gonna like it. $249 is the price, $23.74 is the number, and 73 by 66 are the dimensions. I'm always so fascinated by these friendship quilts or um, autograph quilts. And here's one. I only wish we knew um, the people, some of the people's names. This quilt came from Oklahoma, by the way, and it's dated right up here at the top, 1956. This is the Baring, B-A-R-I-N-G, Baring Cross Church. Now, we don't have any idea what, what city that's from, but everyone has signed it. Um, there's the president up here is Kara Woolley. The uh, teacher is Laura Shaw. Lottie French, I think, is the secretary and treasurer. And then there's vice president over here, Iva Budlong. They've all signed their names and then embroidered over them. Beautiful colors on this. Here's a Cora Blackwell, uh, Myrtle Fleming. Beautiful purples and reds, yellow on the border and on the back. It's beautifully quilted. It's in great condition. I just always think if that church still existed, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be nice? if someone knew some of these people and could donate it back to the church so they could have it uh, maybe hanging there. It's just beautiful, in great condition. It's, it's certainly a collector's item. It's dated 1956. It's all cotton. Uh, $249 is your price. 5075 is the number. Again, it's the, Bo the Bearing Cross Church. The year, 1956. The dimensions on this, 84 by 72. Isn't this an interesting design? You're probably trying to figure out what this is. <laughs> well, it's red and white. That's what it is. It's from the uh, early 1900s, actually 1890s to 1910. And this figure, we do not know what it is, actually. It, it appears to be like a little dancing figure, you know, with without the head on it. Can you see that? These are such optical illusions. Anyway, there's a beautiful big wreath at the top of each one. Nice quilting on this. The uh, red has washed out just a little bit and there's a little bit of wear around the binding. Here, let me bring one of those over. If any of you know what this pattern is, I think it was like 
the wind power of the Osage or one of those um, patterns uh, and, and the pieces are just mixed up or, or backwards, whatever. But anyway, it's still a beautiful quilt. Lots and lots of quilting on this. It's all been done by hand. Very unusual. This is, these are all one of a kind. Of course, some of them are just more one of a kind than others. $3.49 is the price on this. There is some fabric wear on the binding, but that's really about all the fabric damage there is. Otherwise, it's just in great shape. It's all been quilted by hand. 90 by 75 are the dimensions on this. 1333 is the number. The price, just $3.49. Here's a great bargain price quilt for you. This is done in uh, blue, and the background is in a peach color. Nice quilting on this. The batting has just separated in the back a little bit, and there's a little bit of fabric wear, but it's still a pretty quilt. It's from the 1920s and 30s. Now, what's interesting, this is a nine-patch variation, by the way. Uh, what's interesting is the way she's quilted, and I'll pull one of these over so you can see. There's really a lot of hand quilting on this. See the top? It's in a fan shape fan quilting on these blocks, and then she has a pretty little design at the top of each one of these. And that's the case in each one of these pale peach blocks. She goes out to a, um, a blue binding, and fabric-wise, most of this is fine. Every once in a while, you're going to see a little piece of fabric that is beginning to wear. You can see the batting through some of them. But nice quilting on this. There are also a couple of little spots of paint. There's a little uh, paint spot. It appears right here and one over on the side. But wait till you see the price on this. It's a great price. Just $149. 8394 is the number. The dimensions on this 84 by 64. It's the nine patch variation from the 1920s and 30s. This